Hello, it's me, Breezy Gaming. Around a little bit earlier than usual, it is Bank Holiday, Bank Holiday Monday, after Easter. So we're going to be doing a little bit more oxygen not included today. We're going to be doing that for a while. Hope you're doing well, Mark VW. Yes, I fed the fish. The fish are happy and fed. I usually feed them around one o'clock. It's about one o'clock in the UK at the moment. Daylight savings, actually no, it's about quarter to two at the moment. But daylight savings has occurred, so... My regular time may have shifted an hour. I guess you'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, let's go back to oxygen not included. So we are doing... We are doing Frozen Foresters. I keep wanting to call it Frozen Farters. That is definitely not what's happening today. Uh, so we did our last... Uh, our first episode last time on Wednesday. And in that episode, we got a metal refinery going on cycle 10... And we're currently getting them to do conductive wire for the whole base. We're using the metal refinery to generate heat because this whole asteroid is very, very cold. No real uh, reprieve from the cold on this asteroid, especially because we've got a frozen core. So we need to generate heat. We need to keep our plants warm or we're going to starve pretty quickly. Uh, someone did point out in YouTube um, comments that I could just put the metal refinery on its own circuit while we're waiting to do all the conductive wire. But there's not a lot left, so I think we'll just keep going as it is. We do need to get the Great Hall up. So what I'm thinking we end up doing is we end up insulating this and starting to run the coolant pipe past this so it's hot enough for a mirth leaf. In a, in a cruel twist of fate, the game has decided that the only seeds we'll have access to are mirth leaves and they need to be at least 20 degrees to grow. I believe that is fully intentional for this map. It's part of the difficulty. So we're going to insulate this and the output from the metal refinery is going to go up here. At the moment, we're just recycling it through this area. Just to make sure it's not freezing in any of the pipes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure what we actually want to do is we want to bring it up here. And we need to do this because dupes are getting stressed already. We have six dupes. You do have barracks. You do have a latrine. But you don't have the great hall bonus yet because we can't get the plant in here for the decor. And we don't currently have a decorator. I'm not currently interested in getting a decorator. So we're going to do that. We have set up some hydrogen power. All of these wires are breaking. Uh, so in terms of construction, we do need these wires doing immediately. I think this is just the old wire, so that doesn't need doing immediately. So I think we just leave all the priorities they're on for now. Oxygen generation is more or less where we want it to be. Uh, a lot of it is just coming from this polluted water off-gassing, to be honest. We're trying to insulate this bit where the ice is, but at the moment it's just acting like a wick. Um, all the heat is being absorbed by this material here, so that's not exactly ideal. Uh, what I could do is I could get in here and I could replace this. I'm going to make this all priority 9 and then we'll just start replacing it one at a time. If you replace this one first, while the ice is here, we should be fine. It shouldn't melt for another degree or so. So that should be fine. We have some oxyferns as well. 
They are, let's see, what's the issue? They're just not getting any water because the water I'm trying to pump from here and the wire has broken. I think we can, I think we can cope with that for now. I'd rather just disconnect this and sort it out later. So let's just do that for now. That's the only thing that's going up here. We'll keep an eye on what everyone's doing. Our outhouses are out of sync, which is good, which means that one is always active. I'm not sure how that ended up happening, but that's uh, what's happened here. We do want to put a water sieve in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to, war we're going to water sieve the warm polluted water from the metal refinery. Because this geyser is minus 10 degrees. Which is warm enough that it doesn't freeze and warm enough that it should melt this eventually. But it's not warm enough for our plants. So the warmed polluted water is going to go into our water sieve and then the warm water is going to go into our bathroom. Because we don't want the water on a closed loop in the bathroom because we don't want the regular water to freeze. Because regular water has a lower, has a higher freezing point than polluted water. Polluted water freezes at around minus 20. Regular water freezes at around freezing. Believe it or not. But we do need to do these wires immediately. People are stressing out as well. I'm just going to speed one up for now. It's not like we're in a rush today. We do have some loot. We have plenty of loot. So let's see what we got. We got the Rocket Melon Ammo Gloves. I do like the Ammo Gloves. I think we've got a few different items because I was recording some YouTube stuff. Earlier in the week. We got the red balloons. Nice, nice. I do like red. We have the glossy Draco balloons, which is my favorite at the moment, but nice an option. We found a Moo statue. I think we might already have that one. Let's just uh, double check quickly. What have we got? So we have the more marble statues mod, but this is one of the non-mod uh, options. Yeah, we already have this one, so let's recycle it. We actually have a lot of filament stored up, so we need to see what people want me to get with this. I'm kind of saving it up for one of the big buildings, but I could be convinced to get something else, like a painting or something. Okie dokie, people have skill points. Neo, you want ranching too. So what I want to do today is, once we've got the stress all sorted out and everything's actually functioning properly, I want to get some pit branches set up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them over here, maybe? How much space do we actually have to this geyser? A fair bit. What I'm thinking is we have the pit branches over here. We start pushing all these gases back. On the other hand, it might make more sense to do it over here where the actual water is. There's less obstacles over here, too. Yes. I think that's a good idea. I think we'll just do it over here, then. Uh, the hydrogen vent is here. I don't really want to mess with this at the moment. So I think we just have pips up here. Yeah, we'll move the bedrooms over here eventually. This can all be normal colony space, and then this can all be ranch space. Okay. That's not super, super useful at the moment. We've got more off-gassing over here. Uh, let's see, what is actually the gas situation? Most of the polluted oxygen is getting caught. We're going to pump it out of here pretty quickly. We're prioritizing pumping this first because we want to just get it out of this area. You're doing the wires pretty well as well. I think we can speed to this. I believe we're currently researching the water sieve. We've already made a large amount of iron. We do want to make steel as well. We want to put some kilns in. Well, where would we actually want to put kilns? Uh, I would say up here, but we're currently using all 30 of these mealwoods. We could probably put some kilns over here, and that will help. Once the new bathroom is working, obviously. We we'll want to prioritize that first. <laughs> yes, we did release an April Fool's video on YouTube. I shouldn't be telling you it's an April Fool's, but it is. Whiskers has taken over a tier list video. People suggested that we do a tier list on the liquids in Oxygen Not Included, and I thought it was a bit of an odd topic to do a tier list about. <laughs> so we made an April Fool's video about it. I might come back to it later and make a real video, but not really sure. I need to think about how it actually framed the discussion so it was useful. Extra athletics, that's nice. Right, uh, let's see. How's the wire going? Let's just hook up all of this stuff first. 
so the wires stop breaking and then we'll we'll carry on so why am i putting plants here ah yes these are the trees that we're going to use to eat the bathroom waste that is fine there's a little bit over here which is where the carbon dioxide vent is i probably do want to open this up a to add some heat and b just to add some carbon dioxide I'll have a think about that. Who is stressed anyways? It's just user. Yeah, user does not have a lot of morale. I think I think it's because they're the mechatronics guy. They'll get some more morale soon. I think they just need to be here for longer than a day. Also, people are going in the whole hydrogen room, so that's not helping. They're getting uh, soggy feet, uh, irritated eyes, etc. But yeah, you're going to want to do this wire pretty soon. We should have plenty of refined metal now. <laughs> so the pips have planted all a wild planted all the wheeze warts in here, which I thought was very funny. I'm not sure this is actually very useful. But it is funny. We'll definitely need to keep an eye on user. Also, what food do we have? We currently just have meal lice available. I want to get barbecue going fairly quickly. That's gonna help on the morale front. And I also want to get a pit plant in nature reserve. Not many of the plants on this asteroid were actually alive. Um, so I want to make sure the area is warm enough for them. And then we'll get that handled. Let's see what user's going to eat. I'm going to go to the leaf first. Okay. Oh, are you one of those dupes that doesn't like the outside environment? Hold on. Let's see what your... Uh, where your traits... Your noodle arms. Uh, that's not relevant. I guess you just had ugly decor in general. There you go. Now you've got some morale from actually being in a mess hall. So that should help on the stress front. So if we actually have a look at your stress, it's still going up. You're getting popped eardrums as well. I think you'll start to go down soon. Yeah, just a couple more cycles of this and then we'll start focusing on the more important stuff again. Yeah, the wire over here is breaking too. We do want this to work. Let's actually put this on a priority eight. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to draw fairly frequently. So that can go up here. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just cut this off and we'll just have the wire go all the way over here. That wire might take a while. Okay, we got the, the water sieve. So that is going to go here. Yeah, so the polluted water is going to go in here. It's going to get filtered out. The excess water is going to go in the oxyferns. And then the excess wa polluted water is going to go into the trees. And we'll see how it goes. Normally, I put the bathrooms on a closed loop. But because we need to preheat all of our water in general, I don't think that's going to make sense in this room. Hey Glavisk, how you doing? We are we are early today. We are we are enjoying the bank holiday. We're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna do a lot of only. I want to make some decent progress in this playthrough. Uh this will need plugging in. In fact, actually, you know what? Cancel that. We'll do this wire first. There you go. One, two, three. Yeah. Not sure exactly how long I'm sticking around for today. Probably long enough for at least two uh, YouTube episodes. Possibly three. We'll see how it goes. At the moment, we're just conductive wiring everything. And we need to plant some trees in here as well. Now, we do have acorns. These won't grow until they get to 15 degrees. So let's actually just put them on a priority one for now. We need to heat up the area first. There is stuff over here. I still think I want to seal this off overall just because we need to trap the heat in. And then I think what we do is we actually dig a little tunnel down here. Yeah, and then you just get in here and you do all of this. We're going to leave the water here for now. But eventually we're just going to filter all of the polluted water out. So we're just going to use a regular water for research. In fact... I don't think we even bother pumping it out anymore. I think we just try and water sieve it. 
We do have a fairly large amount of sand on this map, which apparently is quite lucky. You don't always find these big clumps of sand here. Oh, I forgot. There's a frozen friend on this asteroid. We should probably try and find them. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. But let's get some more researches done. Now, I think we left a few things that we didn't actually need at the time. We do have mechatronics. Let's get all the conveyor stuff done. Because we're going to do the pips today. We're going to do them properly. We're going to do them not with a dropper, just with dupes wrangling them. That'll be fine. I right, planted the trees a bit early. Okay, we'll probably won these. We need to get all the other stuff working first. So let's say priority nine this. Okay, you. These conductive wires have all been done. That's good. Yeah, keep making more iron. User is still quite stressed, but their stress should start going down, provided that they're not actually going. Yeah, provided they're not actually going in this zone. That's fine. I'm actually going to stop user from going in this zone for now. High stress dupe should not go through here. It's the stress zone. Oh, look, we got a little baby pick squeak. Okay. We knew we had a few pips anyways. So I think we want to priority nine this as well. You're already digging your way in here. That's fine. And we want to start grabbing all of this stuff. Air pressure is decreasing. We need more oxygen again. So we just need to get the water sip working, really. That's what needs to happen. Also, let's keep adding stuff to the list. So we want to add bleach stone, we want to add coal. Nosh beans, I think we want to add as well. I think we are going to do spicy tofu or regular tofu or something. Probably spicy tofu. Uh, pip eggs, I think are relevant. Let's see, databanks, yes. Polluted ice, yes. Or we just want to melt polluted ice. Over here. This is all starting to melt, that's good. Uh, if I just put a storage bin here, that would probably do. Also, you're going to want a hydro sensor, but we'll think about that later. We're starting to mix all of this hot water in with the rest of it, so this is melting fairly quickly now. And we're getting those tiles done. That's good. Yeah, I hope you're doing well today, Uglavis. What What are you up to? Have you got a holiday today, or is it a work day for you? Great area. You, yeah, there you go. You're, <laughs> you're trapped. Congratulations. Um, right. I think you just need to build a ladder. There you go. You should figure out how to do that, right? Yeah. Then you can just come over the top here, and that should be fine. You could dig. So, we should start trapping the heat in fairly soon. How is the wire looking? It's looking okay. Obviously, we need to plug the polluted water in. It's going to take a little while. Keep hooking this up. And then this can go over here. And then we'll just disconnect this wire eventually. You're still idle. Why? Oh, because you can't get up here. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we need to find the frozen friend. I can't remember exactly where they are. There's still stuff in these rooms that had the teleporter for databanks, so we should probably go and grab those as well. Not that I think databanks will be relevant just yet. Yeah, you need to keep digging. So maybe we priority nine this dig. Get you out of there. Also, I noticed ceiling is one tile shorter first. We'll move it up again once this is done. Uh, this still counts as a mess hall, right? Who is building this? Seems like the top of your list at the moment. Right. Um, I think I just need a yellow alert you on this. There you go. It's in the pod. Or should I say who's in the pod? Ah, we got a suit wearing rock fan with Kitchen Menace. Now we do get meteors in this asteroid. We get 
Uh, we get Oxalite Meteor Showers. And they're a Kitchen Menace. This is too good for us to turn down, really. Then again, this dupe is building, tidy, and cooking. And they have... Oh, they've got decreased uh, cuisine. <laughs> Maybe not for a cook. Kitchen Menace, I think, is one of the best negative traits because it's technically a positive trait, unless they are specifically a cook. So I think we go with Camille. Oh, did I want an extra dupe yet? Not really. We do have oxygen. We don't quite have food, but this is too good to turn down. So we're going to take Camille. Camille, uh, you can go... We gotta put some proper beds in for you in a minute. So here's what we do. For now, you get extra mealwoods over here. And one over here. I don't really mind where these Oh wait, no, it's too cold there. Ah, the food situation. I think we're just gonna have to put them in here and dig this out. That's probably fine. We can probably cancel these for now. Just put mealwoods in here. This will be this will be getting warm enough. Let's see aim. Hello, battery sold separately. Hope you're doing well. We're back with more oxygen on today. We're doing a long stream today. But you do need to get out of here before you uh pee yourself. As funny as that would be. Killer fish. <laughs> Killer fish from San Diego. I don't know what I am, but I taste really good. I'm a killer fish. Hello. I'll be your killer fish for the evening. Thank you. <laughs> I added an alert for first. There is now a thing. Welcome, Grey Area. Hope you're doing well. Oh, God, you've fallen asleep. Okay. I'm going to wake you up then. You're going to move over. <laughs> yes, we did it at last. Did you enjoy it? Oh, right. You can't get out of here. Ah. Uh, okay. Dig this. And then you can dig this. You know what, we're just going to let you sleep there for now. Have fun. Uh, this is currently Camille's bed. There you go. Ha have an actual sleep. <laughs> yes, hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. And we're, we're going to have a long day. We're going to have a long day of Oni. Yep, you're peeing yourself. Okay. I mean, at least it's warm, right? It wouldn't be an Aresia gaming stream if a dude didn't pee themselves. That's just the, the test to make sure that you know it's a genuine stream. But yeah, let's sweep this up so you aren't getting soggy feet. And then in the meantime, you can build this wire. You better not be fixing any of this wire. You better just be building this. Yeah, that's all Priority 8 stuff. I want you to do the sieve first. Camille is currently doing the sieve. That's good. Camille, I think we're going to prioritize you supplying, storing, and tidying. There we go. You are the fast one. Air pressure is too low. Yeah, you desperately need to do this. User now has the iron ore. That's good. And now someone actually needs to build it. Okay. Uh, in terms of beds, I think for now, what we do... I think if we do this, yeah, if we do this, that should count. This ice isn't going to melt anytime soon. God, imagine sleeping directly underneath a giant chunk of ice, how uncomfortable that would be. <laughs> what a horror. Yeah, exactly. Please sleep below five tons of ice. Well, have you heard of the ice hotel? Isn't that in like, what, Sweden? Where they, like, construct it every winter. Oh, you're done. Okay, you're done. Okay, that's good. So now we can cancel this. Disconnect this. I guess you didn't need to build all of this then. Sorry. Uh, then we can sweep all of this up. And now you're just going to pump from over here, right? How much more material do we have? Not quite enough. You need to deliver to this. This is very urgent. You're full of sand now. Okay, so the polluted water is going in here. This is warm enough. So now we've got warm-ish water going in here. 
Now the other thing is, this water is going to freeze in the pipe if we leave it in here. So we need to reintroduce this. Re we need to reintroduce this into a loop that involves the oxyferns and recirculates to stop it from freezing. So how are we going to do that? I think what we do is... I don't think it's going to freeze in these bits. Let's have a look at what the actual temperature is. Okay, it's not super cold. I think we might be all right. Let's just leave it for now. I don't want to overcomplicate this piping. Uh, we're going to put hydroponic farms in here, but we're going to do them... Hmm. I think I want to do these as well. In fact, maybe we just open this up for now so we can put the insulation in here. Oh, no, stop doing this. Deconstruct. We want to dump the polluted water over here. For sure. Yeah, we're getting a fairly good amount of oxygen through that. So you're currently too cold. We are aware of that. I think I need to put this on a bypass. So that needs to go... That needs to go in here as well. God. I think maybe I'll just recirculate it for now. I basically want to make sure there's not cold water stuck in the pipe. Is what I'm trying to say. Well, maybe what we do is we put it here. We put a bridge there, and then we put a bridge there. We cut this off. And then this could be where the tree water recirculates. Yeah, we could try it like that. Okay. There's going to be a lot of nonsensical pipe bridges where we just try and recirculate water to stop it from freezing or being too cold. Right, you've done that research. That's good, I guess. I'm not overly worried about that for now. I want to remove this. This water is slightly too cold now. You're going to need to dig this up. And in fact, this is going to start overflowing pretty quickly. So I think what we want to do is we actually want to put a tile here. Sorry. We want to put a tile there and give ourselves an extra tile's worth of space. There you go. So you built that now. That's good. Uh, eventually the plan is to get loads of oxyferns down here if we acquire more oxyfern seeds. Some of these are growing. That's good. So the water is starting to get through to them. That is good. We need more oxygen. We need to sweep this up as well. And I think we just remove this. We remove all the stuff down here and we just tile it up. That sounds good to me. Air pressure is still too low. And you've currently removed your room bonus. Okay, so next thing to do is the roof. That makes sense. And then we've got a little bit of a sealed base going on. We're going to adjust this slightly later on, but I just need to get it sealed for now. Oh, we need a... You need the bed for gray area. Yeah, there you go. Can you just get over at this? No. Okay, whatever. We're also starting to run a bit low on food because we need to grow more of these mealwoods. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We're going to solve everything. The important part is that the bathroom here is working now. Now, I'm going to remove this bathroom. And I think the intention is that we're going to put showers over here. I think we're going to put three showers over here. For Maybe? Maybe four. Thing is, I do need to change this piping if we're going to do that. 
I don't know. I want to make sure everyone's using this bathroom anyways, though. So I think we do this anyways. Oh, I know what we're going to do. Kilns. Yeah, 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 kilns. We need more heat. And I want you to start making stuff. So we'll put those here for now. I don't think we need these lamps anymore. There we go. Now we've got the achievement for the bathrooms. That's good. So you're not going to start growing yet, but the water is being consumed by the oxy ferns. So that's not the end of the world. Why aren't you getting enough water? Oh, because of this bridge. Yeah, we just I think we just disconnect this completely now. Yeah. I think we're just gonna save this water for research. Okay, so now they're all gonna grow. Good. There's definitely not enough oxygen getting up here. That is an issue. Wow, oxygen is pretty bad in general. It's all over here. I mean, you are starting to produce more. We just needed you to operate. We need to start actually electrolyzing this at some point. Or spreading it out over a larger area. The amount of off gas that we're getting is currently limited. Okay. Pip has escaped. That's good. I think. Skills. What have we got? Camille, uh, you're going to go straight to suits. Bat, you can have digging level 3. That is fine. Okay. Uh, liquid pipe is broken. Okay. So the liquid is getting held up in this bit. No, it's because the polluted water is coming in here cold. So what we actually need to do is we've got a bridge coming off here. I think we need the this to only accept metal refinery. Water. So let's restructure this a little bit. All right, I'm going to cancel this for now. Sorry. Right, just let this flow for now. Uh, cut this off. Because basically what I want to do, so this pipe is no longer needed. So let's just remove this. All of our polluted water is now coming through this pipe. So that needs to go in here first. So let's actually disconnect this and stick it up here. Okay. New priority nine, all of that. One of these wires is probably going to break soon, but in fairness, we haven't got anyone making a uh, refined material at the moment anyways. So the hot polluted water has to come out of here. I go into this. We'll rebuild that for now. And then once it's gone through here, that's when we recirculate it into this loop. So it's the extra polluted water. So this is going to be hot, so we want to run this around the area in general to heat everything up. So I think we just run it like this for now. And then we're going to recirculate that with the input water. I think a few of these bridges are probably unneeded now. <laughs> My liquid tier list for spaced out just popped up on my feed. I don't know you make tutorial <laughs> type videos. <laughs> yeah, I worked really hard on that one. Yeah, 
Um, people have told me I need to make my uh, my YouTube videos shorter and more concise, so I let Whiskers do that one. <laughs> Whiskers is an expert on liquids being a fish, so I thought that was a task well suited to them. I'm probably going to make a real one at some point, but um, I need to think more about how I'm actually going to structure that so it's a useful uh, discussion. But yeah, I have actual tier lists on lots of things. And the whole Sandbox Showcase series, I do build guides. We just did a guide about how to make a, a low heat research reactor if you just want to make liquid nuclear waste without the heat. So that's probably actually worth checking out. But yeah, I, do we need these bridges anymore? So this is to recirculate it when the metal refinery doesn't need to be full. So I think that's fine. I think I want this to recirculate regardless of what's going on. So maybe a bridge here and a bridge here and then it comes down. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. And then we remove this pipe. Okay. And that goes into the... That's the bathroom stuff, so that needs to go in with priority. So that needs to go up here. Right. Yeah, let's try that. I'm sure we're going to break something important. We'll keep a close eye on that. Um, am I going to put doors on this? Yes, I will. There you go. Have some doors. And remove this too. And then this CO2. I don't think CO2 is going to be the constraint at the moment. It's easy to think streaming, yeah, it's fine. But making actual videos is a different beast. Yeah, I mean, my videos when I normally do the build guides, I like to explain my thought process behind them because I know it's quite easy to end up watching a guide. And it's concise and it makes sense if you already know how to do it. But if you're trying to like sort of talk about why you're actually doing certain things that way. I like to sort of weigh up the pros and cons and I don't know. It's just my style to be honest. I don't really like doing like a super short like um, video style. I am trying to make them more concise but at the same time I like I like having them be somewhat lengthy. Room temperature is about 10 degrees. It's still not very good. It's still not very good and most of the mealwoods are actually dying. We need to prioritize those. So they're dying because of... Air pressure. Toilets out of order. Well, that's not good. I think that means you need to fix this now. <laughs> Glad you liked it. Yeah, I had fun making that one. Right, let's uh, yell at this. Thank you. So that's going in here. This isn't running because why? Oh, because this needs to be connected down here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Now you can use the bathrooms. Good job. We will endeavor to make sure the dupes do not pee all of the time. More research done. Okay, we'll, we'll hold off the research for now. You guys have got more important stuff to do. Uh, this wire, I believe, can go here now. It's probably fine. Uh, yeah, polluted water can get dumped in here with the rest of it. There are some germs in here. I don't really care too much about that. Yeah, you guys are too cold at the moment. <sighs> so the water. 
I think ultimately I want this pipe to go out here. And then I want it to go up here and I want it to recirculate again. So... I think that one can prioritize recirculating over filling up. a lot of uh, bridges today. A bridge too far, one might say. It's just me trying to figure out how to actually recirculate all this liquid to make sure we're getting the temperatures out evenly. Because we've got a load of cold polluted water going through here. This should probably be insulated. Do we actually have insulated pipes yet? You know what? Let's research insulated pipes. I think that one's going to have to be insulated no matter what. So, liquid pipe. There you go. <laughs> and we also probably want to put liquid reservoirs down here. Now, off-gassing stuff we want to put in here. So that's bleach stone. That's polluted dirt. Rock pile. Priority 9 those. The <laughs> pipe's gone wild. Yeah, pretty much. What's, what's supposed to go in here? Sand, I think, was supposed to go in here. We're going to eventually have to come up with our own sand production. Oh, look, an oxyfirm. Yeah, grab that. Um, I guess uproot this and we'll plant it over here. Oxygen seems to be returning, but we definitely need some airflow going on. So I think we put airflow tiles in the central column. Because the, the gas pressure just is not returning over here. Probably some a little bit further along as well, like this. Eventually the room layout is going to change quite a bit, so I don't want to commit too much to this at the moment, but I do need to make sure it actually works. But yeah, my aim for today is to sort of get out of the whole uh, survival phase of this run. You're covered in germs. Why are you covered in germs? Come back down here. You have two sinks. These should be operational. Uh, we're going to set these to left... Uh, no, to right only. This should be a dead end, so you shouldn't have to go in here. That pipe got damaged again. Yeah, because at the moment, this is ch actively chilling this area of the base, which is not what we want. So we need to research that ASAP. So this can be an oxyfern. Because we have at least one seed. Yeah, we just let them keep cracking on. Oh, there's an oxyfern. Grab it. Yeah. Plan is for this whole bottom bit to be oxyferns, but we'll plant mealwoods in the spare spots. Okay, these ones are growing again now. That's good. Yeah, airflow tiles are needed. Restore the air pressure. Keep an eye out for any more oxyferns. I'm not sure we're going to find any more. I think we did a pretty good job of digging them all up. This does not need this effect. Bat is irradiated again. Yeah, we've been uh, irradiating bat a lot, apparently. Uh, use it. You're allowed back in this room now. But yeah, things we're going to do. So, pip ranching, definitely. We also need... So why aren't you actually doing this? I get that you don't have the stuff for... Oh, awaiting coolant. Are we not actually getting coolant in here? No, because it's recirculating... It's recirculating. It's not actually ever going in here. Why is that? Um, it's just because it's always going through the bridge and there's always enough space for it. So this isn't going to work. 
I think I need to actually hook it up to the other end. So half of the stuff goes in here. Okay. There we go. So now half the stuff will go in here and the rest of it will be recirculated. This definitely isn't right. I think this just needs to come down here. In fact, I probably don't need a bridge in here at all, so let's actually just remove the bridge. Yeah, I think I think we literally just remove the bridge and then we just send it around like this again. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna get confused over the pipes today. Apparently. Right, who's in the pod? Uh, we don't really want any more dupes. The only dupe that I would take at this point is a really good cook. And we have got a good cook, but they're undigging and they're a loud sleeper. So I don't think we take them. So no dupes today. Thank you. Uh, can you priority nine these tiles? Also, did we actually grab the Oxyfer? No. You got to keep doing that. These pips are going to keep planting it. Okay, now you're using this again. That's good. So let's see, let's see exactly what's happening with the water. So it's going in here, and then that's backing up because this pipe isn't finished. That's fine. So this needs to go like this. And then it just needs to go in here. And then you need to remove this. Now, the plan... Okay, we're keeping the kilns in here for now. How much clay do we have? We have a little bit of clay. So we definitely want people to load clay into these. Um, hold on. There you go. Put clay in here. Make this forever. We do also want to make some refined carbon. I think we just use all of our coal to make refined carbon as well. We're not doing any hatches. So I think we do that. And then we can start making steel. I don't think we've got a lot of lime. I don't think we have any lime. <laughs> we'll want it eventually. There I go, researching like a good good lad. This is for seeds except oxyfern seeds, apparently. No oxyfern seeds are in here as well. They've just not been doing it. I bet the pips have planted it yet again. Or is someone currently doing this? At least the plants are growing. That's a good sign. Right, we can put one more mealwood in here. These are too cold. So I need to disconnect this. So now we're going to have warm water recirculate around here. And that should warm these up pretty quickly. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, now we actually have the insulated liquid pipe. We should we should probably, in fairness, have done this a while ago. <laughs> so, let's see. I think we want to insulate it at least for this bit. So let's priority nine that. And I'm going to priority nine that as well because that's starting to annoy me. We need to get these trees to start. Or do we? I'm not sure we actually do. Because the whole point is we're consuming the excess bathroom water with this. Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll plant some trees in here for now. Just in case we need to get some lumber for wood burners. Mealwoods need to get to at least 10 degrees. This room is heating up. Yeah, kilns should be helping out with the whole heat situation. I'm going to yellow alert this one because that was the one that was disconnected. We've got 8,000 calories left. 
Uh, Murphleaf goes here. It shouldn't die here. I'm hoping we can actually start heating it up with some of this water. The only thing is, we probably would have to insulate it over here as well. Maybe we just put some insulated tiles here. We have some ceramic now. We're probably not going to need that for anything immediately. Right, party nine, this. So that water should get consumed by the metal refinery first. Then you just need to complete this pipe. I think we still leave that on priority 9. Or we leave that one on priority 8, rather. Okay, you've uncovered this. So, this is hot. This is hot and we're going to need CO2 for... <sighs> rockets, anyways. I think we just open this up. Open this up, get some more CO2. We'll start digging around under here. And that's going to start filling up over here. So I think what we do is, yeah, we just do something like this. There's brine over here from brine ice milk. That's interesting. And by interesting, I mean annoying. So I think if we do it like this, we should be fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Once we've got... Oh, the plants died already. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. Yep, once again you broke in this room. Good job. Mm-hmm. Is this all actually heating up? I mean, the water is coming in. It would be nice to actually make some steel. Have we actually made some steel yet? No, because we haven't got any lime. We need to actually let the output recirculate as well in here. Right, so... Wire still needs to go here. This has not... This doesn't seem to have been breaking too much. I think at this point, can we leave it plugged in for now? Just keep doing that. Neo's ill. No. Rip. How's this pipe looking now? Okay, so that's full of cold polluted water. That's not actually exchanging heat with anything anymore over here. We're generating more heat over here. I feel like we're going to have to actually insulate more of this. Because this is going to try and normalize the temperature to minus 10. I think actually now this pipe's done. Right, so this pipe's done. We need more polluted water in here. So you need to operate this again. Which you should do fairly soon. Okay. Water tank is filling up. Pretty soon I'm going to start putting in the liquid reservoirs. Because we don't ever want this to run out of space. We could do an infinite uh, liquid storage. I don't think I really want to though. That would, that would probably take a while. I've probably got more important things to focus on. Like the imminent starvation because our plants actually aren't growing. These ones are... But we've got our seventh dupe, so that's not really helping the whole situation. I don't really want to have to murder some critters. Let's inspect all of these for the data banks. Very easy to forget when they're not actually doing anything relevant. 
Lots of oxygen over here because of the oxalate that's fallen down. These are some pretty big meteors. We should probably set up a way of actually harvesting them soon. But I think oxygen generation is back to being decent now. Right, wire, you're done. Okay, good. So disconnect this, connect this, and you're all good. So this needs to be priority nine. We need this to run for the colony to run at this point, because we need the heat. In fact, I think we remove this door and we put another that layer of insulated tiles here. Do we put more over here as well? I think we do. Honestly, I think we insulate all of these bits. We insulate as much as we could possibly get away with while leaving the rooms intact. Looks like we're starting to actually get some polluted water moving through here. So, let's see. Yeah, do all of those, please. Um, I think we're just going to remove all of this. This is not a major priority. Keep doing the research. Yeah, so now this is some warmer polluted water. Actual temperature. Um, now that I think about it, making these pipes out of igneous rock probably wasn't the best idea. If we look at... Oh, that was the wrong button. If we look at igneous rock. That has a thermal conductivity of 2. Granite has a slightly higher thermal conductivity. I, I don't think it's going to be super relevant. I'm just trying to insulate it as much as possible. I don't think we need to insulate the in-between tiles, though. Okay, so hot CO2 is now coming out of here. We can analyze this geyser, for sure. Because it's probably not going to be scolding in here yet. Now, the carbon dioxide is not very thermally conductive, so I'm not expecting this heat to really do much of anything. How's this going? Oh, the hydrogen's dormant now. Okay. Uh, we can analyze this then, although it's not going to be particularly pleasant to analyze. Some more oxygen down here as well. Um, right. So in terms of CO2, we've got a fairly large amount of it still here. Obviously, if we dig this going down here, it is going to... It's going to stop collecting in here as much. But we do now have a tile here. So I think some is still going to collect down here. Hopefully it's enough. Because I'm pretty sure I just want to keep expanding down here. And we're pretty much on the verge of starving. So frankly, if I could find some extra food, that would be good. So let's start exploring. See if we can find the frozen friend. Oh, there's a Hexalent. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Very small hexalent. What's going on? Is it too cold? It is too cold. It's a minus 85. <laughs> These plants, um, they don't have a target temperature, but it's it looks very cold. Oh, it's because it's entombed in, the, in solid carbon dioxide. Yeah, that's a good sign. That's why I didn't spot it. Yeah, that would solve some issues. Also, you need to actually harvest these. That would help. Okay, look, you can see some heat is starting to arise. Output pipe full. Right, obviously that's not what we want to see. We need to keep refining metals for this to actually work. So... If it can't get through here, I think it needs to go in here. Then it needs to recirculate with this. Hold on.
Because I don't really want to consume the hot water. I want the hot water to recirculate more than I want the cold water to recirculate. I'd rather just have the cold water accumulate. Actually, that's not true, because if the hot water gets too hot, then it's going to burst everything. We don't want to feed it back into the metal. You're still too cold. What if we try planting you again? Uh, we could also just put some liquid reservoirs somewhere. I don't think the liquid reservoirs exchange heat too much with things. So... Where would I put them? I guess I'll put them over here for now. Sure. I guess we'll do that for now. And then what we'll need to do is... We'll need to... Put a ladder in, probably. Let's try replanting leaves. So, you plant in and you start at a relatively warm temperature. You're getting fed the liquid, which is warm enough. So, hopefully, you stay at the right temperature. We'll see. I think at the long term, we just feed it to trees that are going to be in the pip branches. Did you get the hexalent? No, you just harvested the meal ice. Okay, that's fine. Why have we got rotting stuff over here? Oh, that's polluted water. Okay. That should be probably nine. We don't want regular polluted water over here. You're still cooling down. That's not good. Hey, Mia Devlin. <laughs> wow, base cooling at day 33. No, it's not base cooling. <laughs> it's base heating. We're trying desperately to heat up our base. Um, it's rhyme... No, it's not rhyme. It's frozen forest. So the whole map, including the core, is super cold because we've got frozen core on. So we're desperately trying to heat up the base so we can actually get food. So we're struggling to find spots to actually plant our mealwoods. Also, I'm going to add dirt to the list. Because it's fairly, like, we do have 258 tons of dirt. But it is possible that we'll run out until we start actually generating more. There's more dirt over here, I guess. It's probably not too bad. Right, you are not there again. I think we just need to hook this up in here, then. So, what we do is... This just goes over here. I think we want this to be insulated pipe over here. Then that goes through here. Then I can store up a fair bit of polluted water and then we can recirculate it. So I can come down here. And then I can go in here. And that should mean we can run the re metal refinery for long enough that we should actually get everything to the right temperature. But yeah, the metal refinery is our heat source. Um, we could use the liquid tepidizer as well. Maybe we do actually do that if this doesn't work. But I'd rather get the metal out of it as well, because we're using the metal to do things. How much refined metal do we have now, anyways? We didn't get that far on updating our list. Ceramic goes there as well. Uh, we've mostly been using it for conductive wires, so we haven't got a huge amount. Let me put all these seeds on here as well. Yeah, you should have time to do this. I guess we uproot these again for now. The important thing is that the bathrooms still seem to have been working during all of this. Mealwoods are sadly still too cold. The oxyferns um, can go down to zero degrees, but the mealwoods need to get hotter. So 
So apparently there's a frozen friend. Uh, maybe they're very, very frozen because I, I don't know where they are. Oh, look, the Biobot factory. My duplicates have discovered a, a laboratory full of dusty machinery. The vestiges of another colony's experiments, perhaps. It's unclear whether the apparatus is intended for biological experimentation or advanced mechatronics, or both. So we did this at the end of the last run. And I think these biobots are pretty good. Provided we can make some steel. Uh, we're not quite there yet. So I think we mostly just leave this alone for now. Until we can get some steel to actually make them. But we'll want to dig our way over there. It's covered in brine ice. I think that's fine. Brain. Oh, you poor sod. Okay, look. This isn't going to work. Don't analyze this. You need oxygen to do this. We'll have to get you some oxygen masks. And I'm just going to cancel this as well. This isn't actually important. You poor sod. All right, gray area. You are going back to farming. There you go. Crop tending unlocked. Um, I know we got you mechatronics. You're interested in operating anyways, and we need an operator. We don't have one. So user, you're just going to get it the old-fashioned way as well. I mean, if we look at your morale as well. Where are you, user? Where are you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Here. I guess it is, um, I guess it doesn't require morale. So that, that does save some effort. You were only interested in supplying after all. I don't think, no, you're only interested in operating. I don't think... Do you get the heart as well? Or do you just get it for free? I don't think we want to skill scrub them, is what I'm trying to say. Right, this all needs to be priority 9. That all needs to doing immediately. And then we'll start looking for our frozen friend and some more food. And refrigerated food. I don't think that's going to be a problem. We're going to eat all the food before it becomes a problem. God, it's so cold over here. We've actually got a little bit of heat now. That's good. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while for this to sort itself out. I think I also want to insulate this whole bit here. That could be priority five. If we're going to have pips here, it can't be too cold. See, I like I like the dupe, but I can't take them. We really can't afford to take them. So we're going to have to reject them. It's fine. We'll get more good dupes later. At least on this run, we don't have to worry about the opportunity cost of uh, getting a dupe over a care package. Because there aren't any care packages. Hooray! Right, finish this off, please. Camille, are you stuck? You might be stuck. Okay, now you're not stuck. That's good. You try to analyze this as well. You probably don't have the air to even try, so let's turn that off. You're not suffocating. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, all the oxygen is currently in this room. That's okay. As long as the air pressure is at the point where the plant can grow, I'm all right with it. The CO2 is all rushing down here. There's a little bit more oxygen down here, but it's not super what I'm worried about. Now, this is the frozen core. It is directly um, connected to the base, and all of the heat is leaking into this area with all this ice. So that's obviously not good. Do we insulate this, or do we just use it as a place to dump liquids we don't want? Not really sure. If we end up with CO2 down here anyways, it's all going to liquefy. Wait, that's true. If we leave this open, we're going to end up with a load of liquefiable CO2 down here. Like solid CO2. So that's actually going to destroy all the CO2 that ends up down here. From this. That's kind of bizarre. 
I think that's fine. We are trapping some CO2 in here because of this tile. I think we leave it for now. But yeah, you guys desperately need to get this finished. This is like priority number one. And by priority number one, I mean priority number nine, damn it. <laughs> so once we can start running this again, we'll be, uh, be in good shape. We got some brine over here. How'd that happen? Oh, brine ice melted, right? Um, I think we just let this hang out here. There you go. Have fun. And you're building all of this. This should be built fairly soon. These liquid reservoirs tend to be pretty good insulators, so I'm not too worried about the liquid cooling down here. But worst case, we just extend the uh, insulation. Again, this is all going to change later once we start expanding, but we need to at least get like a solid foundation going before we start doing loads of other crazy stuff. So what are you up to now? Are you actually able to get down here? Well, you are, but you're probably not able to actually drop anything off. But again, the CO2 should all be freezing down here, so I don't think that's actually a huge problem. Just let all the CO2 freeze. Uh, which means I think we dig this all out as well. Let all the CO2 get down there and freeze. And then we should be able to breathe. This does not produce that much CO2. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. As long as you can actually reach around here, that's fine. Let's consume the rest of that water. Let's do some more researches that we actually need. Uh, we're probably going to want the hydro center and things. We don't already have that. Hydro sensor. Yeah, we do have that now. Okay. Let's grab the tepidizer. We probably want that. You can go here and then this can stop pumping if it's full or if it's empty. I mean, we're not doing great, but we're not immediately dying. We just need to get warm enough for these guys. But you need to finish these. This is very important. And I need to actually get some squash so I can probably hydrate myself, but we'll do that later. <laughs> the pips are determined to keep planting wart seeds. Yeah. There's a lot of radiation down here now because of all these warts. They're gradually trying to cool down all the hydrogen from this vent. And I think they're succeeding. But they're not doing that much because they're wild planted. I don't just want to dump hot hydrogen into the base. I mean, what you could do is you could make a gas pump and recirculate it around. Maybe once we get steel, we can insulate it and do that. Or partially insulate it at least. We'll see. You're grabbing all the clay from here as well. That's good. Hey, XDM Creeper. New run. New run's going all right. We're in Frozen Forest. We're kind of running out of food because we need to actually get the base hot enough for the mealwoods to grow. We have seven dupes. I don't want to take more than seven dupes at the moment. This cool slush geyser produces enough water for about, I don't know, 15 dupes if we were going to electrolyze it all. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, very nice. But we want to feed some of it to trees as well. So I think we're going to stick to about 8 to 10 total. Maybe just 10. And we're probably not going to give everyone comfy beds. We'll probably just give them lab cots to save space. I don't really know where they're going to put that yet. So we've actually exposed the base to the frozen core with the intention that all the CO2 eventually slides down there and freezes on contact with this granite. That's the aim. Uh, we'll dig this out as well so the gases can come out of here. I think we want to widen this all out as well. 
We're gonna make this passage as wide as we can. This brine is all melting. That's uh, good, I suppose. Right, so now the water, the polluted water from the metal refinery is going up here into these liquid tanks. So now we should be able to start running the metal refinery again, which is going to generate more heat, which is good. And then this is going to start recirculating again. There we go. Good stuff. And hopefully this is going to work as a, this is working in such a way the bathroom is staying empty too. That's good. Okay. So I think we're at the point now where we can plant these. Let's try that again. This also means that the water going in here is going to be coming out hotter. So hopefully that is going to heat up these meal lids as well because they're currently too cold. They're currently way too cold. So I guess we actually uproot them for now. It's going to take a while for them to heat up. We don't want to keep fertilizing them. We're wasting the fertilizer in the meantime. We want to get the temperature up in these rooms as well. If we look at this... So these liquid reservoirs... This one's filling. You'll notice the water is staying relatively warm. It's not exchanging that much temperature with the environment. So it doesn't matter that these aren't in the insulated part of the base. And I think we just let it run for a while. We want more refined metal for things in general, and we want more heat. So I think we do that. Do we actually want two metal refineries? That's the question. We need to get some more plants growing first. We're going to fit another one in here. And that would need to go onto another circuit. The other thing being, the hydrogen vent is actually offline at the moment. Now, because of where we put our liquid lock, this is going to be a bit annoying. Also, why have we got water over here? Why is there water all along here? Oh, because the pipe burst. I need to sweep all of that up. We should not be getting cold polluted water in here. Yeah, that's warm now. This is, this is cold again. Why is this cold again? No... Because of all the water, right? Okay, the issue now is that this water isn't actually recirculating. It's just storing up in this tank. Because it's prioritizing feeding on from the metal refiner instead of recirculating. I guess it is occasionally. It's probably fine. probably fine. I think we just need to get the regular water out of here now. So let's put a bottle enter up here as well and we'll just dump random water in there. Next to your creeper you can now have operating as well. There you go. Yeah it looks like it's getting hotter. That's the aim. Now we're very much out of food, though. So liquid water goes in here. Yeah, keep grabbing all of that. Yeah, you can start doing those insulated pipes as well, so you're not dragging across as much cold from here. That being said, I think this water is warmer than the environment, so maybe that's not actually important. Maybe we just stop that now. Okay. Yeah, the water is warmer than the environment, so I shouldn't really care about that. You heating up? No. God, you're so cold. I think I need to... I think what I need to do is I need to actually use this more like an actual radiator. We could literally just make this whole bit a radiator. But I'm not sure I want to commit to that yet.
You know what we could do with? I think we could do with radiant pipes. Which is what we're currently researching. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get some radiant pipes. Just full stump the heat down here. Because we literally have to. Otherwise, we're going to... Otherwise, we're going to starve. We may starve anyways. Well, maybe not. Did we find the hexalin? We... I think we did. Okay. Right. Radiant pipe. We did actually make some aluminium. Let's actually make some aluminium in here as well. Four radiant pipes. So I think what we do for now is we just put one section on this tree, one section on this tree. Yeah, this water is coming out warmer now. Let's keep doing the research. I want to use up all of that water up there. What's next on the list? Gas reservoirs? Do I care about that? I don't think I do. We don't have the stuff for fine art yet. Probably the gas vent stuff. In fact, you know what? Yeah, get portable gases, because we're probably going to want oxygen masks at some point. Right. Now you have a radiant pipe. This should be fine. Okay. And then build these, and we're at least knowing that we're consuming enough polluted water so the bathrooms can run. This is why we're putting these here for now. Time for trees. Yes. Yeah, you should be fine now with the radium pipe. And then we'll keep an eye on this. Yeah, see? That's what we needed. Now the water in this pipe is still not quite warm enough, so I think we leave it for now. I think it is heating up. It's just taking some time. Let's plant the plants again. Actually, we don't have any... Oh, we do have an oxyfern. Okay. I think we found another oxyfern seed. Right. We definitely need at least five. Hold on. To plant at least five. Do you reckon there's any more oxyfern seeds in here? It's possible. It's possible there's a load of buried ones. I'd like to find them. So let's just get a few dig commands out, see what we can find. More research, that's good. We can definitely get some soda fountains in as well, because we've got the CO2 geyser. That's actually pretty nice. I don't normally think about it that much. And then we'll just get all the stuff that exosuits. Not that we're actually going to be able to make them yet. There's no oil here and there's no Drecos here. And we don't have the... We don't have the care packages, so we can't do that either. But we'll keep looking around. See if we find more Oxyfern seeds. I think it's probably just going to be Mealwood seeds, though. Anything over here? Let's see... Potentially something over here. I don't mind just finding a load of extra mealwood seeds, to be honest. The extra aluminium as well. There you go. Okay. Yeah, temperature is now actually going up. That's good to see. <laughs> Thumbnail may possibly just be temperature where the plants are growing properly. These still aren't growing. They must be getting closer. Skills. Uh, I'm going to keep taking research. Camille, you can go for supplying too, I guess. And then we'll get you to see us. Okay, this needs to go to above 50. There you go. Please send more polluted water over again. This is all recirculating now in here at least.
We haven't got a load of random liquids down here, do we? No, it's just because the CO2 isn't very conductive. How hot is this water now? Okay, the water is hotter now. Did we make any more aluminium? No. We could we could use iron for it, I guess. I do want a good cook. But that's all I want. No more dupes, please. And we'll just keep looking for oxyfern seeds. We found another one? Okay. Because the more of these we get, the less electrolyzing we have to do. And I don't really want to do a load of electrolyzing this run if I can avoid it. We'll see. Uh, where is this frozen friend? We've got to find him at some point. Where are we actually going to go? So the air is somewhat breathable down here because all the CO2 is freezing. So I think we actually do go this way. But obviously we don't want to expose the frozen core too much. I think just this way. Also, I'm very aware at the moment that we're kind of just consuming all of our... Yeah, we're kind of just consuming all of our iron ore, refining it into metal, which is not ideal. There's a good amount of metal on this map. We can't do anything with the rust yet. We, we can deoxidize that once we actually melt a significant amount of brine ice. We do have a lot of brine ice, and it is mostly salt. Alright, I think I've found the next thing that we're going to do. We're going to melt all the brine ice. So this melts at about 13 degrees. And then we desalinate this to get the salt, and then we run a rusty oxidizer to get more metal. That actually sounds like a good plan. And that's hot oxygen as well, which is what we want. Now, where are we going to put this? This is warm enough to melt brine ice, but we obviously don't want it in the same spot. Or do we? Where the heck am I even going to put this? Because obviously it's really cold down there. We're doing pip stuff up here. There is a load of brine ice over here. Maybe we just do it over here? Let's see. Let's have a think about this. Sorry, I'm just brainstorming. It. So that's base level. Let's just do a tile here. This is base level as well. Base level. Base level. Because there's a fixed amount of brine ice. It's not like we've got a geyser. So I think what we do... I think what we actually do is we dig this out. And ideally what we would do is we would melt this to double the mass. I'm not sure how feasible that is though. But we're going to have to melt it anyways before digging it. But... I don't think just heating up the whole map is a good idea. I think we'll just dig it. This isn't going to be... Because otherwise we're just leaking heat out everywhere. And we need the heat to actually run our base. Look, there's the trees. More oxyfern seeds. And grab that one. <laughs> you poor sods. else over here. Maybe that's an oxyfern seed. That'd be kind of funny. Don't tell me the frozen friend's over here. Oh, wait. Actually, let's rummage these. I think there's clothes in these. Obviously, we don't want to unleash the spore kids yet. What we got? Oh, look, I'm doing it. A cool vest? Yeah, thanks, game. Really appreciate it. What's XD got creeper found? A snazzy suit. Okay, I'm wearing a snazzy suit. I'm I'm calling dibs on that. <laughs> these poor pips. I've sealed all these pips. Um, you actually aren't going to lay eggs if you're trapped in here. So I think we actually open you up. Or at least I don't think you're going to lay eggs. Love to find one more oxygen seed. How is the aluminium going? It's not really. 
Let's stop making this at the moment. Make some aluminium and we'll put some down here. This water is heating up, which is good, but it's going to take too long to heat it up with just uh, just regular pipe because of the CO2. So I think we just put one radiant segment here. Yeah, you're making aluminium now? Yeah. Okay, so one radiant segment down here should do. Now I can go back to... Actually, they're both a similar amount of heat. I think we'd prefer to make iron ore. That's more heat overall. This is full of water now. The germs are multiplying. Temperature is not decreasing. That's good. It's temperature over here. Like. So I think we actually want to put a radiant pipe on this as well, because we want the great hall bonus. So that can go there. What's everyone's uh, fullness out? Okay, fullness is decent at the moment. But uh, yes, we're going to have some issues in a minute. Okay, this looks like <laughs> this looks like the frozen friend. This uh, friend truly is frozen. Although, actually, they seem to be in an abyss light shield, so they're not they're not completely exposed to the frozen core, which is, I guess, very kind of the game. Right. Um, probably don't need to go all the way over here then. Maybe we just go up here and call it a day? And we want to get down here, so... I think what we do... That's solid carbon dioxide. Fun. We'll just dig out over here. We're obviously going to want to excavate all of this stuff. Yeah, I think we start digging out the brine, brine ice, we put it somewhere, and we, we do a rust deoxidizer today, because there's so much rust lying around here, I think it just makes sense. And we do a liquid tepidizer. I think. I think that makes sense. Wait, I'm just going to put an oxy fern here. And then 35 mil woods should be enough for everyone. Oh, we don't have a... Uh, we don't have a friggin' uh... We don't have a friggin' mess table for our seventh dude. Okay, so that needs to not be a radiant pipe there. We need to put some actual decoration in here. <laughs> Ice block, lol. Good idea. Pedestal with an artifact could be a good idea if we found a good artifact, but I don't think we're going to find one just yet. So I think what we do is we do this, and then we make a... We make a uh, hanging pot. And then that needs to go up here. Like this. And you can't actually reach that. So you're going to have to do this temporarily. And you can dig this. That's fine. There's not enough water in here now. That's going to be an issue. So you can just do this as well. Right. You should start to heat up soon. So the water is now... Oh, it's too cold again? Really? Um, you can remove this pipe as well if you're bored <laughs> I feel like we're going to be doing a lot of ripping up and uh, destroying stuff again Hip, why are you trying to rummage through the sand that's not very cash money of you so this bright ice down here is already melting in the pool I guess we just dig this out. So... Something like... This. Should do. And grab all of this. And I'm actually going to put a pitcher pump here so we can grab the rest of the brine ice. 
Yeah, I think this is what I want to do today. So we dig this as well. I mean, yes, I know we're losing half the mass digging it out, but if this means we can actually access it right now instead of trying to melt it on random spots in the map, I think that's worth it. Because the reality is, if this is 30% salt, that is a lot of salt. So we're going to get a lot of use out of it. Even if we are already getting half the mass. So the rest of the stuff is over here. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to tell them to... I'm just going to tell them to dig out all of this material until we get to the actual brine ice over here. So we grab this stuff. And then we dig out the other stuff from the other side. There's a fair bit of random brine here that's actually already melted. So that's good. I think what we do is we dig in here and we open this up. Also, there's algae down here. Let's grab the algae. Uh, leave this here, though. Excuse me. Who's got unreachable food? Oh, you all have unreachable food because there is no food. Great. Still not quite succeeded yet in heating all this up. Seems like this water is not getting heated up enough, fast enough. So the mealwood isn't getting quite to the right temperature. Well, that's not really very cash money. So we dug over here. There's nothing else over here. That's fine. So in terms of actually getting over here... I think we just want to come down through this way. And we'll do it like this. In fact, do it like that. And then... We need to actually open this door, don't we? Otherwise, this is going to be... Uh, remain exposed. Oh, that's going to be annoying. We're just going to have to go this way, then. That's uh, not ideal. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Gas pipes, good. Atmos sensor, good. Is the CO2 actually all freezing? No. Let's try it. Granite does not appear to be quite conductive enough. Or maybe just the surface is coated with something else. Still got a little bit of oxygen in here. Oh, you can't get up to here, though, now. Let's actually just put a ladder here. And then you can come and grab the oxygen up here quickly. I think this is going all right. Yeah, is there any significant amount of brine ice over here? There is. But I think we've got enough brine ice now. So let's make an insulated bit here. Do we want to use liquid locks to seal this off to stop the heat leak? Possibly? Maybe not. But I think we want to heat this brine up to a decent amount as well. Maybe we just do this for now. Yeah, we'll build all of that, and then dig this all out. 
once we've got the brine up to the temperature we want, we can send the brine into the base as well and start heating everything up with that. Probably need to put some liquid in here as a conductor to start with. We do have some brine that we can use to start with. And there seems to be lots of it that's ending up over here. So let's actually, for now, just remove these. Got lots of bleach stone, lots of blue dirt. That's fine. Ready nine all of that. That's that's okay. You can still reach all of this via the ladder. As long as we're not pumping brine into this pipe. That's the important thing. In fact, let's actually do the same here. Because I, I can just tell this is going to go somewhere. I'll start thinking about all this stuff too. And then we need the pitcher pump. So that can go here. Uh, that can go here. And that's how we get all the brine out. And then we put the brine up here. So this gets removed. Uh, we'll need to come down here to access anything that drops down here. It's fine. Okay, we're positive on food again. Let's go. For now. I mean, I'm glad the trees are growing, but it still isn't quite warm enough. Temperature is improving. So, let's see. This needs to be radiant pipe up here. In fact, I think we just do that one segment. And then furniture, we do a hanging pot. Do a snazzy one. Neo's earned a skill point. Neo, you can have tidying. There you go. You're currently colder than you'd like to be. There's a desk. There's a desk. There's an old magazine article from a publication called The Nucleoid tucked in the top drawer. I add it to my database. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a thing talking about the temporal bow. We've read this before. And we found an artifact, though, a double helix model, which is. Holy moly! <laughs> well, that solves the day problem. It's 126 debris. Um, a decor. Okay, we've got to put that somewhere. Doctorate degree, nice, nice. Newspaper clipping? Yeah, about students, yeah. Gene's origin story. So we're going to have to go over there as well. Now, I don't want to release any of these gases. I'm still concerned about the fact that the CO2 is... Uh, so pervasive down here. It is slowly freezing. We are getting oxygen down here. We're also getting a little bit of chlorine. So we need to put that storage bin back. Research is done for now. Okay, that's probably fine. Uh, in terms of more stuff, you can grab this, and then we're just going to need to put in probably just a couple of ladders. Um, probably that will do. Grab that bright ice. I don't think we want to print anyone else. We can't actually get food from the printing pod because of the challenge. So that's kind of sad. No, I don't think we want any of these guys. Really, I'm just looking for a cook for when we start actually ranching. Do I need to put like another insulated tile here? I think I might do that. You guys can do the fire hole, uh, the fire pole shuffle, maybe.
This bit up here is hotter than this bit, so maybe that's not a huge issue. You're getting hypothermia again, great. Yeah, that's what you get for building all this, I suppose. So we're going to put a tepidizer up here just to melt all this dry ice. And what we'll do is we'll just put a storage bin here. Actually, hold on. Let's let's be a bit more sensible than that. Put the storage bin here. Put the bottle emptier here. And then put the tepidizer here. And this is just to melt all of the actual liquid. And then we'll want to run it through a desalinator, but we'll need it to be hot enough first, so... Probably need a thermosensor for that. So let's research the thermosensor. No, not the thermoswensor. No, not the thermosensor. This. There you go. That's going to need a wire. I think we just connect it here for now. Um, don't do that. There we go. We have large amounts of refined metal now. That's good. Stress is relatively low, so I'm not going to worry about. I'm not going to worry about recreation room for now. What's all the brine ice doing? Looks like the brine is still accumulating over here. This geyser uh, has been analyzed. It goes dormant in 37 cycles. That's fine. We are slowly filling up all these tanks. Actually, that's quite quickly. I guess we'll start dumping that in trees soon. We're already dumping in these trees. You must be getting close. And reach down here as well. Yeah, I don't think you guys are too interested in that task at the moment. So, in terms of more brine ice, there's more stuff up here. There is a lot of coal debris down here. Is that going to be that relevant? I guess I should probably clear that out before we get started. Yeah, you guys can all just keep working on this for now. People's fullness is not doing great. It looks like all the CO2 is actually freezing, which is good. It's actually what we want. It's not really helping this uh, stay warm, though. I'm just glad all the bathroom stuff is working properly. Oh, this pipe needs to be insulated. Here you go. So we've got plenty of polluted water stored up. So we could just turn the metal refinery off for a little bit. And then this would recirculate without issue. Or maybe what we do is we reverse these bridges. So instead of it prioritizing the metal refinery, we prioritize the recirculation. I think we do that once the fifth storage tank is full. There you go, you got more meal ice. I probably want to put another hydrogen plant over here. The only issue is this is going dormant. So we don't want to use a load of power that we can't reasonably get back. There's a lot of brown ice over here. Let's start digging this out. Diggy diggy hole. Um, I think we leave this here. And then we go up here.
That's probably fine. And then we dig these two. And then that one becomes a ladder. A little sand over here as well. well what temperature are you at now? 9.5? Whatever. So where are we going to put the rusty oxidizer? Probably makes sense to put it next to this. Unless we're using the brine to heat the base up. I mean, we probably are. We're going to end up with a load of... We're going to end up with a load of hot-ish water. Bring out the desalinator. There you go, there's the algae. Enjoy. That'll help th make things a little bit more breathable. There's more bright ice down here, so we want to grab this. What's the easiest way to do this? Probably going like this. And then... Something like... This? Yeah, that'll do. It does at least break fairly quickly. Put a ladder all the way up here. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. In terms of how we're actually going to build the rusty oxidizer, we're just going to do our normal build. We're going to use the dash of salt vines to recycle the chlorine. Now, there is more chlorine down here as well that we probably eventually want to use, but I'm just going to do it like self-contained for now. Gray area, build that tile with their mind. Excellent. Let's see. So you can ladder up here. You can ladder up here. Ladder up here. And then you can remove this. This. Probably just come and remove this too. Now that's getting dangerously close to space. There's a large amount of ice here. I'm hoping that'll be fine if there's a meteor impact. I don't think the oxylite meteors are too hot, so I'm not super concerned. Okay, we have the thermosensor now. That is over here. So this needs to go here. Uh, let's make it out of aluminium. We only want this to heat it up to the point where it actually melts. No, we want, it to, we want to heat it to above zero so that we can desalinate it. And we want to research the desalinator. So desalinator goes here. I can see we've got some starvation. That's that's amazing. Good job. XD got creeper is uh, starving. I'm going to have to start making some mush bars, possibly. Uh, plant the myrtle leaf here. Hopefully it will actually get warm enough. We can try. I'll insulate this bit as well. We'll see what luck we have. There really isn't a lot more food. We're still trying desperately just to actually warm this. I think we gotta... We gotta use some radiant pipe down here. I'm hoping that they'll just eat this meal ice. Obviously, this is not a good long-term solution. Yeah, looks like that's the case. We could mix it with some of this water for now. Instead of doing more research.
possibly. Uh, maybe we just do. Maybe we just make an emergency mush, um, mush thing for now. We're gonna want to move this ceiling one tile up here eventually, so I might as well tell them to start doing this. Then that wire can go over here. Oh, right. If we consume all this water, we're not actually going to have any water for making life loaf or mush, mush bars. Oh, well, that's not a good idea then, is it? So lower this for now. Put this here. It's priority. Yeah, we're prioritizing the pipe. This stuff can all go down to priority eight. I'd like to start melting the brine ice today. Or well, not today. <laughs> I'd like to start melting the brine ice before we have a break. We're going to have a break in about an hour, probably. Well, we'll see. We'll see how organically we can time it. But I, I want to keep digging this all up. So, yeah, put that there. And then we can just go across here. And that should be fine. Now we have the rusty oxidizer. That's good. So the oxygen comes out of this at 75C. And then we also get the hot metal. But we need the salt. And that's why we need to desalinate this. I think the desalinate is probably going to go here, but I just want to get all this debris out of here. We're going to start heating stuff up in it. You're having fun with all the, the brine ice? Good. Yeah, oxygen is doing all right. The combination of the off-gassing and the oxyferns is enough. Right, this water is definitely warm enough. There we go. Now you're growing. You just need a little bit of encouragement. You're not growing any great. Great. Uh, is that because this is all full? This is all full. Okay, so now what we do is... We sever this. And we plug it in here. And then that means... That means it's going to prioritize recirculating rather than filling up the metal refinery. Because at this point we have enough hot, hot polluted water. That's not the issue anymore. And we have enough metal that we can reasonably do what we want with it. It's still trying to melt, but it's not getting very far. Uh, you can't reach this. I think we come down here to do that then. I don't think any more... Okay, so you've done that digging. That's good. Got a little bit of food again. But this thermal overlay is just so depressing. Right, so what are the power sources are we going to do as well? I don't really want to do hatches if we can avoid it. Because we, we always do hatches. I'm kind of bored of that at this stage. We're probably going to have to do ethanol. So I think we just have to start committing to the pit branches. So let's get this all cleared out first. No, that wasn't right. We know the pit branches are going to go over here. So we can start at the top and then make our way down. Um, I think this is going to be the very top. Although, maybe we just do the very top over here for now, because then we don't have to demolish all of this. We're going to have to find the liquid we can actually pour over here to keep the pips happy. Maybe we make some ethanol and do that quickly. We do have a little bit of lumber, not very much. Body temperature. Right, so now you're recirculating, right? You're uh, not really recirculating. 
You've gotten a little bit too full. You're trying your best. Well, I mean, I guess this is okay. It's, I think it's because it's trying to drain from the bathrooms as well. It does seem like there's one too many liquid packets. <laughs> Just maybe. Let's see what happens once the bathroom water is gone. No, it's still it's still taking a while. Oh, it's doing two at a time now. I think this is probably fine. Yeah, that's growing again. Good. You're not growing, but you're not dying. Which I suppose is not the worst thing in the world. Now. Oh, tofu. We can make some tofu. Is that going to save us? Wild nosh sprouts? Yes. Tofu, please. That's uh, definitely a better use of water than my slope. So we'll do that. And we won't do any more research. Uh, unconstructive. What a shame. Mouth breather, no. You're pretty good, but I guess you're technically a cook. I guess you're technically a cook, but we're still on the point of starvation. And <laughs> you're not the best cook, but you have the other good qualities. You have plenty of other good qualities. It's very tempting. Yeah, fuck it. I think we take them. <laughs> right or die! <laughs> right, so there we go. Ellie the Grill. Ellie the Griller. She grill confirmed. Ignore Grey Area. Grey Area is the imposter. So you can prioritize cooking. You can also have a little bit in building. Actually, people with building should have it at level two. That should be a thing. And I think now we can remove other people from building. And they can go back to doing other things. So you can go priority one. And then priority one on... I think that'll do, actually. So we're going to have to make you a proper kitchen at some point. But for now, this is just going to do this. And then we're going to put a... <laughs> this is going to be the smallest kitchen in the world. That's going to go here. And then we're just going to have a lamp. A ceiling lamp will just go here. Here you go. Ellie, Ellie's little hideaway. Is that actually even going to reach there because of the obstacle? I think we can just... I think we can actually just dig this for now and it won't be an issue. And then the power wire can go up here. And then you can do that. And then this can be Ellie. The bid mutants. And then we can get some tofu and we can solve the whole problem. Hey, there we go. Actually making tofu. That's quite a rare occurrence, isn't it? There'll be more nosh seeds for us to find or nosh, nosh sprouts. We should use them before they expire, due to random reasons. How's it going? Yeah! Wait, is this producing a little bit of light on its own? It does have the lamp. No. It's a lie. Right, please probably nine this. That being said, I think that was all of the Nosh Sprouts went into this one tofu. And it's kind of just dangling. Oh no, the Pip's confused. Pip, why are you confused? <laughs> you're drowning, but you're trying to plant a seed. I'm hoping you're not just going to die. Okay, now you're fine. Weird Pip. There you go. Now you can more efficiently make the uh, tofu. Oh no, there it is. You've finished the tofu. Okay. That is going to help people out, surely. The knees mealwoods are all growing now. That's good. Right, speed up. So now we need another five mealwoods. <laughs> I'm beginning to think this is not the best idea. 
Also, we need another mess table in here. Uh, I don't think we need this at the moment, honestly. I'm going to be very real with you. Um, we can remove these tall tiles. <laughs> Why did I take another duplicate? <laughs> Just to make tofu. Just to make one single batch of tofu. This was not a good plan. Right. Um, we're going to have to remove these. We're, we're not actually getting enough stuff to warrant using them at the moment anyways. The temperature over here is cold, but I think it's warm enough that we might be all right. So we're just going to have to do that. So speed up again. In the meantime, you're doing all of this stuff. You've actually grabbed all of the brine ice. I do want you to build that ladder just so you can access this. This is trying to run. So set these to sweep only all party nine. And then get all of the debris out of here. Uh, except the liquefiable brine ice. So that could stay there. And then, once that's done, we'll dump the brine in here. Uh, brine ice can go in here. Uh, what would actually make sense is circulating this via a conveyor loop. That would that would heat it up very quickly. So maybe we do that instead. We put a conveyor loader. We just manually load that. You're still trying to run, which is amusing. I'm not sure how you're running if you're not submerged. It's kind of amusing me. We do have a mechatronics person, so we might as well build this. And then, in terms of conveyor, I think we literally just run it all the way along and then do a bridge. Like this. Oh, wait, we do it like this. So the bridge is going first. Yeah, and then that recirculates it until it melts. Okay. We're getting, we're getting some chlorine. Okay. This needs to send a green signal if it's uh, below... Probably just freezing. We just want to get the salt out for now. You don't want to actually run this too much. Because we've got a limited amount of hydrogen at the moment. We've all got unreachable food. Yes, I know. I know. Right. Lamps. You probably don't need to run. I guess they make the farming faster. Um, I'm just going to put some more mess tables here. We are out of food again. This brine, unfortunately, has not behaved like we wanted it to. But that's fine. We only need a little bit of brine to put in here initially. Ellie needs a bed. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so gray area is over there, so we can actually put two more beds over here. Why am I putting stuff for nine dupes? I don't know. <laughs> it's not a good idea, is it? I think for now we just plant another mealwood in here. I don't think we're going to find another oxyfern. Tom Darkside is having a field day over here. It's having a lot of fun. Oh, here's Bat. Bat is helping out. They have enough air. They have enough air to not die. Oh, actually... So I have a funny idea for a mod, and I'm not sure if anyone here is interested in modding Oni, but so obviously the way gas is modeled in the game, the air is pure oxygen. But in reality, air is like 20-ish percent oxygen, 80%-ish nitrogen. Obviously those numbers aren't completely correct, but it's about that sort of ratio. So what if nitrogen was in the game? 
What if uh, when you had nitrogen and oxygen combine as, as gases, they just merge into air that your deeps breathe, and they could breathe oxygen as well, and plants interacted with oxygen and air in the same way. But if the dupes breathe oxygen, pure oxygen for too long, they get like hyper oxygenated and they get all giddy. Um, and it's more flammable if they add flammability to the game. I was just kind of wondering how that would actually work. Yeah, let's see how these mealwoods go. I think it'd probably be too complicated to be worth doing. But it sounds like it could be amusing. Okay, this is obviously going to be super cold down here. So any CO2 that makes it down here is going to freeze, which is actually fine because that means we've actually got oxygen down here. It's very funny. See, this is the weird thing. It's completely safe for the dupes to be down here despite it being minus 140 degrees. Oh God, the frozen friend. The frozen friend is going to be the ninth dupe, aren't they? Just full of terrible decisions today. I feel like we've almost got enough mealwoods, though. So what? 11? 17? 28? 38? 44? We could... We could get a, a ninth dupe. <laughs> We're fine. What do you mean the water's not warm enough? I don't believe you. Looks like this loop has sorted itself out. That's good. So that should be helping the temperature a fair bit. Are we doing more research? We are. We're getting the desalinator. We're starting to sweep all the debris into here. Power wire needs to go up here, I guess. And then this needs to be just dry ice. That needs to be manually loaded. We get the chlorine out of here. Once we've got all the debris out of here, so okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you're, you're loading the brine ice into the conveyor loader right now. That's good. So that's obviously not going to melt just yet. But we're doing this because the ice is going to melt way faster on a conveyor than if we just have it in a storage bin. And we already have the mechatronic stoop, so why not? This will surely melt soon. There's more bright ice down here as well. Ah, here's the frozen friend. Okay. I think the frozen friend is going to be the thumbnail today. Just because we are insistent on taking dupes when we shouldn't be. But we'll go up we'll go up to 10 on this asteroid, alright? And then we'll stop. Keep looking for more brine ice. Rain. Okay, we grabbed all of this, that's good. Grabbed all of that. There's probably a few little bits over here. Right. Let's actually. So we want the. We want the sand over here anyways. So then we could just come in here and grab this. And that's fine. There's vacuum up here. Because, oh, because it's not actually space exposed. I don't think. It just started without any gas in it. No. No, that doesn't make any sense. I, I mean, it doesn't say it's space exposed. Do I trust it? I guess I do. Yeah, you're eating again. That's good. You're trying to grow and not really succeeding. Okay. I think all of this needs to be insulated. I don't think there's any point having non-insulated tiles on the edge. I'm actually quite tempted to do this, but I don't want the dupes doing the fire pole shuffle too much. Hmm. Oh, hold on. What's going on? Oh, I just got a text from the bank. 
amazing. I'm very much enjoying the carbon dioxide just all freezing. This is a nice feature. And then we've still got a large enough layer here from the dupes breathing that it's fine. That's what I like to see. So you're you're pretty much done with this. You've just got a little bit of refined metal left. So I think we can start dumping the brine in here. So it needs to be priority nine. Nine for brine. And then this needs to start send green signal if below 10, uh, zero degrees. And then we run it through the desalinator. So do we have the desalinator? No. That is, do we not have enough water for that? I think people are just doing other things. That's fine. Bat, you can have, while well, you're done with digging, we don't have a single person in this colony with building one. How the fuck has that happened? <laughs> you can have building one. Congratulations. I mean, you wouldn't know it from how much stuff we've done, or maybe you would. I mean, that was kind of why we um had the... That was kind of why we had the, the bathroom accident in the first episode. Right. Ooh, look at this. So the brine ice is now going around the conveyor. Which means it's absorbing heat faster. But obviously it's not making a difference at the moment because we don't have any liquids in here. But that should happen soon. Now we have the desalinator. Uh, this, this generates a little bit of heat. I think we just stick it in the pool. So we built an unoccupied space. Really? The, the friggin' plant? Okay. Do that. And then I think what we do is we just build some ladders over here. And then we put the desalinator here. And then that could help heat everything there up as well. There we go. Hello, well-bred grapefruit. Thank you very much for the raid. That is a, that is a very fun and cool username. <laughs> How are you doing? Have you been playing Oxygen Not Included? We are doing Frozen Foresters. I keep wanting to say Frozen Farters, but they're not farting yet. Uh, we just started this run one day ago. We're doing a longer than usual stream today because it's bank holiday in the UK. I'm a big fan. And at the moment, we've dug up most of the brine ice on the map and we're going to melt it and desalinate it. So we've actually got salt that we could put in a rust deoxidizer. And then we're going to start using all the rust on the map. Hello. Yeah, just playing some only. First, I'm playing three years. I'm struggling to remember what you're doing. <laughs> It's alright, I'll tell you what, if I take like a week off, I struggle to remember what I'm doing in this game. Yeah. Grabbing some brine. Look, there's me. I'm grabbing some brine. Brain. It all it all dropped in the polluted water. This is our polluted water vent. We are grabbing all of this polluted water. That is going into a metal refinery where we're heating it up to the point where it's actually usable for plants. And we're just about at the point where our base is warm enough to grow plants. So <laughs> hooray, food. Hate to raid and run, but I have to be off. Have fun with it. No worries. Thank you for stopping by and sharing your community with us. Very much appreciado. All right. Brine is being dumped. How hot is the brine? It's uh, somewhat hot. Oh, look. The pip. The pip is stuck. The pip is sitting next to the tepidizer so they can get nice and warm. That's very funny. This should heat up pretty quickly. So now you'll notice the brine ice is uh, rapidly increasing in temperature because it's submerged in the liquid. But this brine ice over here that's not on the rail is exchanging temperature a lot less quickly. So that's why we have the conveyor rail here. This should start melting the rest of it fairly soon. And we don't want to use that much power because the hydrogen is finite. This reactivates eventually. When, when do we actually go in here and sort that out then, eh? Do we, do, do we just build another liquid lock down here? I think that might be what we do. So let's have a think about this. Base levels. I think we just build another liquid lock down here and we go at it. There's some more ice down here as well. What temperature is this? Uh, maybe we build an ethanol liquid lock down here. That would be an idea. And I think we just 
just do it here. If we make it out of ethanol, we don't need to insulate it. So that can go here. Yeah, I think that'll do. Then we don't need to worry about this. That's all good. Yes, welcome back, guy. Hope you're doing well. I want to see when this actually starts melting. The melting point is around 15 degrees C, so it's going to take a while. Hello, Julesomenessness. <laughs> Another excellent username. Careful, the output of the hydrogen vent is 500 C. Yes. Uh, the map is very cold. And the pips have done a good job planting all of the wheeze warts in here. Wild. <laughs> Which I found very amusing. Obviously, wild planted. They're not doing much cooling. They're doing about 3 KDTUs of cooling each in the hydrogen. Um, which is not the worst thing in the world, considering it's completely free. Uh, but yes, the mass of the hydrogen is small. We're constantly consuming it. And it's constantly dumping its heat into the surrounding material. It's not abyssalite. So I'm not overly worried. But I am aware. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. Normally what I like to do with these. I actually made a YouTube video on this. Normally what I like to do is I like to set them up with a drip pump. And use a steam turbine to take the heat off so we can pump it safely. But we're just dumping all the heat onto the map for now. Maybe later we'll sort something out with it. But usually, usually this is what I do with these hydrogen vents. We just let them dump their heat into the map to start. And then we tame them later. And that's especially useful in this map because it's blooming cold. The whole map is blooming cold. No real reason not to heat it up. Right, I'm here. Do we inspect and defrost our friend? I think we do. We have food again. XD got creeping is going to come do the deed. That's fine. Is this actually melting yet? It's almost at the point of melting already. That's good. Some green signal below zero. Not submerged in liquid. Oh, that'll change soon. That'll change soon. There we go. XD got creeping is here. <laughs> XD got creeping is here. They are very, very cold. <laughs> They're like, I'm sad. I'm sad that you put me in this situation. But yeah, this is going to be the thumbnail today. <laughs> Oop, here's the dupe. Um, I think we have the mod enabled, which lets us re-roll the dupe. <laughs> I am allowing this. The dupe is flatulent. A flatulent decorator we do not need. We are going to re-roll the dupe. Nyctophobic. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Nyctophobic shabby dresser. I think that's fair. We're not having a flatulent frozen friend. Sorry. Frozen fathers is not happening. We're going to have an ash can. Digging, tidying, uh, nyctophobic. I guess that's all right. That's not exceptional. So I don't feel too bad about rebuilding it. There we go. Ash can. Ta da. Ash can is thawed. Frozen farting foresters? No. It's not happening. Maybe we find another asteroid and we put farters on that. Maybe. Right. Okay. So, Ashcan. You can actually have three skills. So... I know we already have loads of diggers. I'm just going to give you digging one, two, three. There you go. Perfect. You can prioritize digging and tidying. There you go. Now, you're a nyctophobe, so you're actually going to need a light. Which is going to complicate things just a little bit. Here you go. You get to sleep on the actual ice cube. That's very funny. Uh, let's see. So, have some lamps. <laughs> this poor sod. We keep doing this. Right. Uh, lamps. I love lamp. I could just go... Actually... Um... This is one level lower than it should be. Oh, uh, whatever. This obviously isn't permanent. And then the motion sensor can go here. I don't know why. In the past, it seemed like one lamp wasn't enough on its own. So we're going to put two in. There you go. And priority 9, all of this. 
now we have our nine duplicates. We do not have room for more mealwoods at the moment. But if we uh, if we find a tenth, then maybe we'll make some room. No! <laughs> the fireball shuffle. It's real. Okay. I guess we're going to do this for now, then. And I guess you can remove it from over here. But we're just desperate to retain the heat by any means necessary. In fact, these are getting too cold as well. I think we do this as well, then. Put some more ladders over here. <laughs> these poor sods. I'm gonna go get this uh, double helix. This is a high value artifact. So I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna go like this, to be honest. There's a little bit of chlorine in here, a little bit of bleach stone. I think that's fine. Let me just come in here. Yeah, I think that's okay. Right, let's unpause it. We do need the rest of the meal lice to grow. Otherwise, we, we are going to run out of food. User, congratulations. It's like you had it from the beginning. We did build at least one mechatronics thing before you got to that point, though, so that's good. This brine is getting pretty cold now. The building is not submerged in liquid. That's not ideal. I mean, is it still cooling down? Not really. We need an insulator over here as well. We're going to build a desalinator. We're going to build a desalinator. We're going to build a liquid pump. So that can go there. We need to build automation as well. This this might heat it up enough, just building all this automation. I can go there. Power wire can go here. And then this can go in here, and then the water will come out here, and that'll be warm. We mostly want the salt. That's why we're doing this, but the water will certainly help. Now, we do want to insulate this when we bring it down here. I probably also want to stick it on this, but I think I want to... I think I want that to be a fairly low priority. Let me fill up some more liquid tanks. Let's think about this. I think for now it's going to go down here. We'll use these bridges we left earlier. And then I'll think about what I'm going to do once it's actually built. But I think we're probably going to feed it to these plants. I think I want to prioritize emptying the deodorizers into the plants and then letting the polluted water build up elsewhere. Ah, uh, I have become error. <laughs> that is all going to freeze. It's all going to freeze immediately. Oh, we find more hexlum fruit. Really? Nice. That must have got buried by the CO2. Uh, oh, that just released all the liquefied CO2 down here. Lol. That's very funny. Okay, well, we're going to do this at some point anyways. Just remove all of this. Okay, look. That's going on the mistake counter. I'm I'm not going to pretend that's not going on the mistake counter. We did let all the water out. That's all going to freeze pretty quickly. And then the CO2... The CO2 is liberally exploding over here now because we just let it build up and solidify for ages. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Where is the artifact going to go? I guess it's going to go over here. There you go. This is... Um, who? Ashcan's bed. There you go. What's in the pod? Another good dupe. Suit wearing handy. Ooh, that's really good. Layer is pretty good as well. In fact... Layer is very good. 
rancher. But we don't really want the food. I think we leave this for now. We'll get our ninth dupe later. We've only just got back to the point where we've got a decent amount of food, and that's only because of the actual excellent fruit being uncovered. Yeah, this is fine. You're going to get on all of this fairly soon. Keep dumping the brine in here as well. It's going to keep um, eating this up, hopefully. Does seem like this is getting colder. This brine is very cold. It's going to get it to the point where it's actually submerged this. Great, right, more water. Yep, yep, perfect. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Where do we actually dump regular water now? I have no idea. This is all frozen. Great. We need to put some kind of cold resistant liquid in here. Probably gonna have to be ethanol. Actually, it's not that cold in here. Do we just make it out of polluted water? I think we do. Just insulate this. In fact, can... yeah, just so we can do it now. Insulate that. The rest of it should be fine. This hasn't um, stopped working yet, so that's good. Are we building everything priority 8 now? It's fine. Oops, be wilding. Everyone's getting hypothermia, great. You'll have to see it. Yeah, build all these ladders. Make sure these are insulated. Um, this is cold liquid. So we definitely... Oh, we don't have any radium pipes over here. That's probably why this is struggling as well. Hmm. The other issue with uh, mealwoods is you can't fertilize them with fertilizer. Because the plant itself is not what's providing the food. It's the... It's the what? It's the worms. It's the grubs that are attracted to the plant, which I found very counterintuitive at first, but it actually makes a lot of sense. It occurs to me we don't need all these ladders. We just needed this one here. Oh well. Right, we can remove these tiles here now, and then that means we can start decorating this later, maybe. Are we going to leave this permanently here? Probably. Well, the sooner we start ranching the pips, the better, but we need to melt this first. Do we? I don't think we do. I think we start doing the pips in parallel. Parallel pips. We dumped all the brine ice in here. No. You can dig that, and then you can start digging all of this. So if we just come down here... We'd start clearing all of this out. Then you can clear this. Who's trapped? You're trapped. Amazing. Right. Yeah, I should have thought about that. Uh, just take this out. That's fine. Oh no, you're gold! Boo. Boo hiss. Um, I don't know. Not very smart, am I? There you go. That doesn't count as a mistake. I'm beginning to think we needed more liquid in here to get this started. Like, you need to actually be submerged. We just need this to start melting.
Right, you know what? We're going to trick this temporarily just to get it started. I shouldn't have done this. Um, I shouldn't have set up this way. We should have had an insulated tile here and just have the brine be melted in this little packet. But we're going to trick it temporarily. I'm going to show you how. We need a timer sensor. So timer sensor goes here. This is a little bit of an exploit, but we're allowed to do exploits now. <laughs> We've done the exploit-free playthrough. So now I can do whatever I feel like. Yeah, this brine's all getting colder because this is slowly heating up. We should do the research fairly quickly, though. This is giving you a hint as to how this works. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Yes, yes, yes. I understand, game. Remove. Rebuild it. Is this actually melting now? I think this is actually melting now. I guess we'll see, because if it is melting, then it's going to stop actually coming out here. Wait, who's idle? But you're all idle. You've all run out of things to do. That's funny. Okay. Uh, rebuild this. Um, What do I get you to do, then? Is there more brine ice for you to go grab? There is, it's over here. So that's not going to keep you busy very long. Let's have a look for liquefiables. So we're looking for this greyish stuff. Not snow. It's the same colour as snow, really? No, it isn't. That's just all the snow there. Have we actually dug up everything? No, it's this stuff. Right, okay. I think we can come in here and dig all of this. It's actually surrounding the spore kits. It's kind of yikes. Why is it the same color as regular ice? Who thought that was a good idea? All right, and then we're just going to dig this one tile. And then that's going to... Is that going to refreeze into debris? I guess we'll see. Someone else idle. No, you're fine. Right, speedy uppy. This will fill with brine eventually once this all starts melting. And then we can stop automating it. That will start running soon. Oh, we don't have any uh, water available for research now. There's no actual liquid water on the map. So we're going to need to dump that somewhere where we can actually do something with it. That's irritating. Okay, I have a solution. Uh, you're probably not going to like it. We, we dump the water on top of this. Do one layer of brine, one layer of regular water. Because we can run regular water through this without any issues. So for now, the vent goes here. And we start putting ice in here as well. In fact, we can make a load of ice temperature plates. Wait, why didn't I do this? Why don't I just make brine ice temperature plates? That's cer certainly something I could do. We're going to start making some ice ones over here. Just so that we're actually... Wait, why are you... Oh, you're actually in trouble. What am I trying to do? End goal. Um, I'm trying to melt the brine ice into liquid brine so we can desalinate it, get all the salt out, so we can start doing rusty oxidizing. 
Because we want to start using all this rust. I mean, the actual answer is, I should have just put this in a smaller bit so it would naturally fill up with liquid. But we'll just cover it with a layer of ice on top instead of doing the exploit. I think that'll be quicker. You just need to actually build the ice temperature plate. And it actually needs to melt. It probably isn't going to melt yet. Okay, so we're probably still going to need to build the timer center. We're going to want an AND gate. I think we just disconnect this for now, to be honest. This isn't going to be permanent. This is just to demonstrate the concept. Uh, this needs to be set to above 50. Ice statues work too. They melt fairly quickly in liquid. But this liquid isn't cold enough to melt it. That's the issue. We need to actually get this running first. And it's not running because it's not submerged. Completely. So we just need to dump another liquid on top. Uh, do you have any regular water available? No. Okay. We'll keep an eye out for that. I think food's going all right now. I do like this little base. Should we put some drywall up for people aboard? What? What? Okay, I think we're just going to do the snowflake print everywhere for this map. What about an air heater? No! <laughs> Stop it! Get some help! <laughs> we're not doing any friggin' space heaters. Look at this, right? Power is limited. We're using this hydrogen from this vent that's gone dormant. Stop suggesting it. But for those of you who aren't aware of why this is a really bad idea, Space Heater uses 120 watts to generate 18 KDTUs of heat. A liquid tepidizer uses 8 times the amount of power to produce over 200 times the amount of power. Yeah, we're playing power not included. Rubbish. Uh, this doesn't need to be priority 9. Make it priority 7. This stuff needs to be priority 9. Why have we got insufficient oxygen generation? Oh, because we have loads of dupes. Again, that's funny. This still hasn't melted yet. Feels bad. Oh, and we need to set this to bleach stone and the off-gassables again. I had to move it. <laughs> the tilting isn't life and death important. The uh, tiling isn't life and death important, dupes. Only life important. <laughs> right. This is warm enough we can put bluetooth water in here. So, copy and paste. And then we can get in here and we can analyze this because it's close enough to the oxygen. That was the intent. Uh, the CO2 has not um, solidified in here again yet. It will at some point. This is still preferable to going in the hydrogen room. There's enough CO2 in here that it's actually a fairly convenient passageway. Pip is determined to get covered in liquid. Right, how's this going? We're getting any more liquid in here? Not really. I think it's actually refreezing. Which is not what we want. Ice temperature plate is up here. Yeah, keep doing the research. Oh, the research. Oh god, right, okay. Yeah, now we're in a catch-22 where we need liquid water to actually do the research. And we need the research to get liquid water. That's really fun. Um, also, stop dumping brine in here. It's not good. There's also more brine in here. Chicken and the water egg. Indeed. I think that's what we're looking for. And then this brine ice will start. <sighs> We're going to have to actually dump this somewhere, aren't we? Alright. I'm making an executive decision. This pipe 
was supposed to come out of here. It's now going to go in here. This is a very smart idea. And that is going to be oxygen. That's going to be water from this. It's going to go up here. And then we're going to dump that water in here and heat this all up. All right. Yeah, it seems like the brine ice is actually the ice temperature plates are actually too cold. Great. <laughs> I'm having loads of good ideas today. I don't think this is going too badly, in all honesty. Uh, you've got a vacuum. Um, that's probably not going to stay a vacuum for very long, though. No. <laughs> We'll just fill this up all the way with polluted water. That's fine. We know this room's going to stay like this. I think we're probably going to keep the bathrooms here. No, you're not starving. Stop starving. You know you're running a good colony when your response to hunger is to tell dupes to stop starving rather than to actually make food. I think we're going to keep this bathroom here. So let's do these as well. Priority seven. Oh, you're actually doing this now? Fun. Maybe use the brine as coolant in the methyl refinery. Just run it through once, load up the heat, dump it in. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, we're using it just to heat up the polluted water that's running through the base from this geyser. That seemed, uh, I get that you want me to do it once. The piping is already quite congested here. So I don't really want to do that. But we should be able to get out of here fairly quickly. Now, what I will do is I'll turn this off so the water can just dump over here for now. It's not like we've got a shortage of polluted water to sit. You mean another one up top, just temporary? Nah, this is faster. This is faster. This water's fairly hot. Or well, it's not fairly hot, but it's, it's hot enough that it's going to get the job done. <laughs> we've frozen all the brine ice over here now. Great. Hmm. Yeah. This will be fine. Once we've got two liquids going on, it will be fine. Uh, I will... Yeah, we're not going to do the timer thing anymore. I don't think we'll need to. We'll see. Uh, yep, that's all freezing. Okay, good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you're going to start melting the brine ice again, at least. This is... It's not working like I wanted it to. Eventually, it will get warm enough. Alright. Temp is going up. Yes. We just need to get to the point where it's actually melting the brine ice. And then we were right. I'm beginning to think the temperature plates were a mistake. I think we removed the temperature plates. Because they're just exchanging heat with the gas. Actually, I think these are heating up as well. Okay, we've got Brian over here again. This is, this is a combination of several bad ideas. Right, uh, let's just remove the temperature plates. I don't think that's helping at all. If anything, I think we want the water to stay insulated, but obviously it's going to conduct... It's going to get the 625 times multiplier with the brine. So it is still going to freeze, I think. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciado. Okay, so now the water is staying here, at least temporarily. It's starting to flow over, maybe. This doesn't seem like it's working. <laughs> I'm just ending up with lots of cold ice. 
Maybe slowly build tiles to push it over, make it less wide. I mean, at the moment, the brine isn't settling at all. It's all just freezing in here. <laughs> Better than warm ice, not a great new drink. It's true, you don't want warm ice. In this house, we obey the laws of thermodynamics. Apparently. It's warming up, it's just taking bloody ages. Eventually it's going to get there. Who's idle? You're all idle again. Yeah, I know you're all idle again. Right, here's what you do then. We build. <laughs> get the dupes to shame stand in it because they're bored. Yeah, exactly. Mesh tiles here. Bottle empty is here. And then you can get to work moving the rest of this. Hello, Trensk. How you doing? Fish are doing well. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a bit of a break once this is actually working. Yeah, we can't do the research with timer sensor. I could flip this on and on. So here's the actual exploit. If you flip this on and off rapidly, it will work. The building will work and it'll start heating stuff up. So we're just gonna do this for now to get it to work. And eventually we'll be able to turn it off. So now you'll notice we've got some empty baskets here, which means the brine ice is actually melting off the conveyor, which means it's accumulating again. I don't really want to use the exploit too much, because you shouldn't... Because <laughs> I feel like you should be able to do this otherwise. But yes, we're allowed to use exploits in this run. Uh, no, we don't want any more diggers. We've got plenty of diggers. You're a chef. You're a chef. You're a radiation eater chef. I don't think we want that. But yeah, we already did the exploit uh, not included playthrough. So this is exploits are included. We can do whatever we want. I think this is actually all melting now, though. So, well, it was melting. I'm just going to tell you to keep doing this. And we're not just destroying our whole base to do this, are we? No, we've got a good stockpile of polluted water over here. And that's helping with this. Mm. Yeah, if you're bored, you can keep doing this. And then the solids in here, I guess you can get out as well, but it's not a much of a difference, is it? I mean, let's see. Changes so you can't store any liquefiables in here. And then that should be fine. So now you guys can dump as much brine in here as you want. I mean, the brine is spreading out. That's fine. I'm going to flip this again. Just turning our clicks directly into heat. It's not really working. More brine is getting dumped. Yes, exactly. This is the automation we're looking for in this game. I am clicking the game itself to generate heat. Amazing. Right, and eventually... So eventually, right, the water is going to reach over here. Am I actually going to ladder over this as well? I think I am. It's more co this is going to dump a load more coal material in it, though. Which is not what we want. I don't want the dupes wandering in the cold liquid anyways. You know what? They can just wander in the cold liquid. I don't want to do more of this. Um, we'll put a pitcher pump over here so we can actually get water out for research. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Wait, will that actually reach that? I don't think it will. Yeah, I built that. 
What's going on here now? We've got chlorine gas. Great. I mean, there's a good amount of brine in here now, at least. The brine ice on the conveyor is pretty cold. But I think it is gradually heating up. We're still starving. So that's, that's fun. We need to get started on pips. I need to stop getting distracted and we need to actually do the pips. So dig this out. And then dig all of this. And then we can start doing the first pip branches. Like, if you, if you guys aren't actually doing anything, you can definitely do this. Ashcan is sleeping like a king on his ice, on his ice floor. How's this looking? It's a frost king. No, he's the ice king out of adventure, adventure time. So this is just ice that's accumulating here? That's kind of funny. And all the poofing because of the uh, mesh tile. It's all poofing out of the mesh tile. Yeah, keep digging all of this. Uh, we're definitely going to grow the trees in here. Just so that we can heat them up. Because if they're pit planted, they're not going to grow at all. Because it's currently like minus 30 over here. Look, liquid chlorine. That's fun. Okay, is that all done then? I think that's all done. Yeah, and that's all done as well. Okay, good. So there's no non-liquefiables in here. Yeah, whisk whiskers will tell you liquid chlorine is not fun to swim in. Have you seen the uh, new YouTube video yet? Google Whisk. I did a I did a liquid tear this video, and whiskers uh, whiskers led that one. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to check all the comments on that um, when I go on break, which will be shortly. Ah, good food. You'll have to see it. Uh, there we go. I have the final research skill. I'm officially the smartest stoop that ever lived. This plant is still not growing. Okay, we've dug all of this now. You can dig all of this. We can remove all of these ladders. And then we can start building this roof. Because this pit branch is what next needs to happen next. For sure. Um, I'm not sure exactly how far it's going to go. I think it was 100. Yeah, that'll be far enough. There's more liquid chlorine in here. It's actually vacuum, but there's liquid chlorine. Feels bad. Also, there's a load of polluted oxygen that's getting stuck under here. I think I want to actually make an airflow tile here so we can get out. Um, you are definitely done with the polluted water over here. So now... Ah, the vent is active it again. Okay. Let's see if we can analyze it while it's active. Oh, now we're getting a load of polluted oxygen here. I didn't think about that. God damn it. I guess this isn't a problem because it's going to overpressurize with hydrogen. Right? The hydrogen should stay above this. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Or do we just give them oxygen masks and send them in here? Oh, whatever. I don't know. It's active again. So clearly, even if it has a dormant period, it's not a very long dormant period. So it doesn't matter. Well, that's fine then. Um, I probably want to put some gas reservoirs in here as well, actually, don't I? Maybe not over here. Maybe up here. Gas reservoirs got buffed a lot. They now hold a thousand kilograms. So they're actually worth building. Imagine that. So I think for now we just... This is probably... We're going to just have the pips up here to start with. We'll just do this for now. And then... 
the extra hydrogen can go out into here. No. That's not right. What actually needs to happen is this needs to go up here. And then this needs to come down here and then go into here. There you go. That's two tons of hydrogen we can store in here. So that should actually be a decent amount to stop this from overpressurizing. It's probably worth doing. Right, look. The brine is accumulating now. All the ice is melting. It's working as intended. Uh, this still isn't active yet, though. So we're going to have to keep dumping warm water on it for now. But eventually we'll be able to stop dumping warm water from it. So what else is there for us to do? Let's see. Has all the CO2 condensed again? No. Not really. That's probably fine. So we need to keep digging all this stuff out. I probably shouldn't dig out these tiles because we might want to natural plant them. But we can't do it yet because we need to warm the area up. Ugh. If we do warm the area up, we'll need to insulate it as well. So I think we're going to have to do the insulated tiles again. So let's do that. And then I think we just remove these ones so that the carbon dioxide can still fall out. I think that's important. And this will be the pip handling room. And then these will be the actual ranches. So wherever we put the bottom one is actually going to have to be insulated. And there's less natural tiles over here. We can make natural tiles with the airlock exploit, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I think we just tile everything normally. Get the run speed bonus. Also, I should technically be doing this out of granite. I'm not going to want to mess with these afterwards, so let's do these ones out of granite. Start graniting the base as well. We don't want to interrupt the fire pole, so if there is a heat leak, it's just going to have to leak out here. Looks like we're getting the oxalite. The oxalite is actually warm. This means that we need to seal this off. That's fine, I think. It does mean that you need to grab this immediately. Oh, you've stopped actually grabbing the, uh, the brine ice. Okay, well, this needs to be grabbed immediately. And then we can seal this off, and then we won't have an issue. I'm quite keen to actually harvest these oxalite meteors. And we have a tidying dupe that can make blast shot if we give them all the skills. So we should do that at some point. Right, you actually uh, submerge now. Disabled by automation. Send green signal if below. Oh, we want it to be below. Yeah. Yeah, run. There you go. Now you're running. Oh, good. That's going to simplify things. Um, in fact, let's set it to like five degrees. To make sure that we're not having an issue. Now that the hydrogen is running again, I think we can do that.
And then that means... Now that that's running, I can stop dumping this in here, right? So that water can go back down here. Where it's eventually going to feed in here. So now we recirculate it like this. I think that's fine. So now... This brine will be warm enough because this is going to run. But the issue now is that there's not enough conductivity through the liquid. I mean, this is turning on periodically. Where the pump actually is. The thermosensor needs to be where the pump is. I don't think that necessarily the case. I think I just need to set this warmer. We do want it all to melt in this area. I would like you to keep doing this. You still have the yellow alerts, but you can't actually reach it, so let's yellow alert build this as well. Because if this ice melts, we're in trouble. Speedy uppy. Let's set this to like 15. Okay, that's probably slightly too warm. Let's keep it at 12, then. Okay, now I think it's warm enough we can hook this up and it's not going to break. So, the water... We're going to dump it in here because... This is where we're going to get the water for our research as well. Oh, I see now why we did this. Water... going on you're still full of water that's too cold okay now you're working okay that's good we're not with the suppressed notifications mod on are we oh it was the it was the pipe that broke yeah i see there you go right this is actually working now And we didn't even need to do the trick or automate the trick. That's good. Now we're getting a mix of uh, brine and regular water, but that's okay. I think. Still a decent amount of brine ice over here that needs to go in here. Do we speed this up a little bit? You're grabbing it in 140 kilogram lots. Oh, right, I see. Um, Alright, I've thought of a solution. Just dig the tiles instead. There you go. I think I'm going to remove this one from here. Remove that rust. Okay, there you go. So then you can just remove these. And then we can just tile this up here. So now you're emitting salt. You're emitting 1.5 kilograms of salt per second. So that's a lot of salt. And we're going to priority 9 this because you need to offload this whenever. But now we actually have access to salt, which means we can actually deoxidize this rust, which means we can get oxygen that way. And more importantly, means we can get more metal. Because uh, we're currently generating all of our heat with the metal refinery. Which we want, because we want the metal. But, like, we eventually need to get more metal ore. So that's the main purpose of that. Yeah, there you go. So now, 
yeah, this is getting warm enough. I don't think the debris in here is actually going to matter now. So now let's actually just do some ladders over here for a bit. No, not yellow alert. In fact, you can do it like that. And then we can just have a pitcher pump here. And then you can grab water from that for research. And occasionally you're going to need to come in here and uh, clear this. But that's fine. This is an errand. Your dupe has to actually do the errand to get the salt out. You can't just do it with an auto sweeper, which I'm very sad about. I think we're still going to auto sweep everything that's not liquefiables. I'd rather do that. It's going to take a while for the stuff to conduct heat into this stuff, but I think that makes sense. Why have we got brine down here? I would prefer if you swept that up. You're starving. <laughs> Stop starving. Right, and now... If we look at the liquid overlay... No! <laughs> You stupid water. Listen, listen here, mate. I do not appreciate the way you're behaving. <laughs> it's friggin' cursed. Right, remove this. Why? Is it because of how the water pump is? What's in the pot? Art fundamentals decorator. That's very funny. Do we get a stinky as, as a decorator? No, I don't think we do. No, no more dupes. We're still starving. We'll get the tenth dupe after we get the pips online. This is very stupid. Why has this happened like this? Presumably because the pump is there. Right, now just remove that. Okay, so now we have water and brine. And now that means this is actually going to run. And we can get the water out for the research, which is what we want. There you go. Very clever. Okay. Um... We do actually want to use this. So we probably want a hydro sensor connect to this vent as well. I think we want to vent if it's below 50 kilograms on this tile. We still need to put one here. Why can't I put one here? Because there's a ladder here as well. No? I can put one there. Okay. Hydro sensor there, hydro sensor there. This goes here. Okay. Hydrogen is going in here. Which means now I can disconnect these. This pipe can go here. This is cold hydrogen going up here. It's not that much cold in the environment. Is that a huge concern? Probably should be insulated. Then again, this isn't insulated. No, don't bother with this. Okay. So now we've got a decent storage buffer. And we want to make sure that this only pumps if it's above three atmospheres of pressure in here, I think. And then that means we should be able to open this up and analyze this, and the hydro and the polluted oxygen is never going to get up there. I think. If we have ten dupes here, this should this these trees should be enough permanently. So I think we're going to drywall this too.
Okay, so if this is above 50 kilograms, then we vent the water. The deodorizer. Deodorizer? De uh, de de desalinator. And then if it's not, then the excess water goes down here, where it then goes into the loop like this. So it prioritizes feeding it on from this. Oh, but the issue with that is it's not warm water. Actually, it should be warm water because this is warm. Oh, we'll see how it goes. Looks like we drained about half of that polluted water tank. You do still want to get all the brine out of here, so you can still keep dumping it in here if you want. Looks like the ice is melting out of the room. We can cancel all of these. Now you're actually doing the research again. <sighs> I want to catch someone doing this. I want to catch our first lot, lot of salt. When are you going to actually generate an errand? I don't know. <laughs> need more food. I need more food. I'm hungry. <sighs> We're getting... Okay. I can see what the issue is. We're getting moments where the water is building up in areas and it's stopping the brine from actually flowing. It's kind of weird. Because the brine is all building up over here now. I guess eventually when it gets heavy enough it's going to push this water out. As long as we've still got the water over this bit, that's fine. We're getting idle again. They are. How is the water pipe going? Have you done that? No, we need to connect this here. Okay. And then remove this. Oh, wait. We only want this to vent if it's below 50 kilograms. Ah, that's what we want. Okay. Fine. And then the water actually spreads out over here. And then that's okay. I like the noise it makes. But again, we... So this seems to have repeated. We've reached a point where the water is all building up over here. Which is not really what we wanted. I mean, as long as it eventually spreads over to here, that's fine. Because it does seem to be getting cleared eventually. I think we just leave it to the end of the cycle and then we, uh... There we go. Wait! Oh! No, 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 no! Stop auto-pumping from this one. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> I just realized that was what they were doing. Um... I guess we just tell them to not auto-bottle it. We do need the water for the research, but everything else can stay. You've done all the drywall. Oxy ferns, I'm not sure they're going to be permanent. I think now, so set this to above 3,000. Now we can just open this up and let people wander in here, I think. We've got some oxygen. So that should no longer be a problem. So you can analyze this. The temperature is not going to get hot enough to scold them because it's constantly exchanging heat with the environment. Oh, wait. Uh, is that an issue? You should probably have a ladder. Let's see how that goes. 
Yeah, now we've got water over here again. Great. It's got food poisoning, but that's fine. So now the water is going up here, which is not what we want. It's because we need a bridge here. Okay. There you go. So it's going to prioritize loading the water from the desalinator. Then it's going to prioritize recirculating the loop. Okay, that's not actually what we want. What we actually want is... We want that to go here. We want to, I think we want to 50-50 it into this bridge. I think that's what we want. probably fine. Did I just spill a load of water out here? I don't think so. One more cycle and then I'll go have some lunch. Well, the water block has moved over here, but that's fine because it's actually in pitch pump. Okay, um, this is warm enough now, it's not really an issue. Let's lower this to like six degrees. We'll keep melting the ice in here. This temperature overlay is friggin' useless. They need, they need, I'm sure there's a mod that changes the color grading. If there's not a mod, I might actually make that mod, because I did a lot of color grading stuff in my PhD, and it's like, this specifically winds me up. Yeah, you're filling up with hydrogen now, that's good. You're storing all the sand in here. That's okay. Most of the brine ice is, is solid in here now. That's solidified because of the heat exchange with the environment. Uh, I guess you don't need to worry about this. You can remove this. Have you built the pipe? You have, so that water should be coming down here now. Right. I'm going to think about this later. The long and short of it is... The long and short of it is... We have... We have a desalinator. It's it's working. I'll get, I'll get like a... I'll get like a shot of people doing stuff with the... A pitcher pump. And then I think we'll be alright. I'm not sure whether we're going to get a good shot like this, because they're, they're literally just going over to the pitcher pump. Also, they're not even using the ladders. They're just freaking wandering across here, because we need a ladder here. You're not pumping because... Why? Some green signal below 500? Did I not? Oh, right. This needs to be set to above 50. Here you go. There we go. So now, hopefully, if you want the stuff for research, you can go over that way. Let's just research something quickly. Let's research and gates. Do you like the noise it makes? Yeah, now you're running over the ladders. That's good. I think you're just grabbing a load of water at the moment for research. That's fine. Plenty of thumbnail shots. <laughs> you silly sausages. Right. I think we're done then. Uh, let's save it. I'm gonna go put on some music. So... Here we are. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna go have some food and have a bit of a break. And then I will be back. We will continue streaming. We're gonna be doing this a long time today. Um, probably not gonna wrap up at 10.30 like I usually do. We're probably gonna wrap up a bit earlier, but we are gonna have another stream, another normal stream's worth of Oni today. And the pods will go up soon. Uh, but if you like what you've seen and you're still here from 
the raid earlier from well-bred grapefruit feel free to follow on twitch and you'll get a notification when i go live i usually stream 7 30 to 10 30 on mondays tuesdays wednesdays you're still here did you return i know you said you were heading off but uh yes thank you for following i will i will go check you out at some point as well i will i will have a look you just got back nice nice <laughs> the zebra Daniels were very excited today it's nice to see i'm excited too no, just in time for the break oh yeah uh but yes if you do miss a stream all of the vods go on youtube we have a lot of stuff on there we have discussion videos meme videos tier lists a lot of oxygen not included stuff there is also dyson sphere program noiter potion craft mega aquarium a few things like that at the moment until the wedding which is only a couple of weeks oh my god um we're just doing oxygen not included mega aquarium is going to return in may and we're going to start doing the dlcs for that so that'll be fun uh, there is also the Discord where we hang out, we post memes and builds. I'll probably do a summary of anything interesting in the Discord after the next part. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.